It's me. I'm back. I'm cleaning the body of a man. I've been told some may join me. But who's to say if they're wires or not? I'm also going to change this to live chat so I can actually see. Hi. Feel free to ask questions and stuff. I, s I was talking about Vixen Aloha. You're not on the docket. How are my bones? Not great. I'm 30, they don't work anymore. I'm not 30. That's a lie. How's my trip been? Um, I hate traveling, but I love Amy, so it works out. Though I have to travel again. I'm home for the weekend and then I'm traveling again. I, I guess I shouldn't say that this early. Um, that quote from my Patreon review had me dying in your Patreon review. Yeah, it was pretty good. I got, I got like unreasonably mad reviewing the Mario Brothers movie. Though I would like to correct myself a little bit. I did say Illumination, the animation studio that makes Minions, had never made a good movie. That's not true. I think Sing is okay. But I do hate them, and I do think they have the worst track record of any studio. Hmm. Is that fair, though? Because, like, Blue Sky, the Ice Age guys, have one actually good movie, which is the Peanuts movie, but also everything else they ever made was garbage. So, like, what's worse? Toxically nothing, uncreative art, five out of ten, lowest common denominator, make the most money stuff, or a studio that just makes something awful. Despicable Me is alright. It's okay. It like narrowly bumps out a six out of ten. What's the thumbnail? I literally don't know. Aloha made it. Technically, they made Nimona. Who? Blue Sky? Did they? I think they were already bought out, weren't they? No? Yeah. I said Nimona and Flare showed up. Okay, Blue Sky made most of it. I mean, I wouldn't call Nimona a good movie either, but, like, I do think it's better than basically everything Illumination's ever made, so... That's unfair. It's okay. It's fine. I've seen a lot of bad, bad animated movies. Nim Nimona's fine. What's a good movie? Spider-Verse was pretty good. I watched the first French animated movie I ever liked on the airplane. Uh, it's called April and the Extraordinary World. The first two Ice Ages are good? No, they aren't. That that I'm not budging on. You're, you're all wrong. The first two Ice Age movies are horrendous.
That was one people got mad at me on Twitter for. And it's like, yeah, that's because you were like six when the Ice Age movies came out. I, I too remember being six. I remember getting my first uh, slush drink ever. Like my first Slurpee in a movie theater for Ice Age. And I was like, this is amazing. I get an icy drink. And then I watched it. And I was like, that was great because I was like four. It's not good. I have not seen The Boy and the Heron. Is Viction actually here? Not yet. What's my favorite movie? Uh, my favorite movies are Princess Mononoke, Knives Out, and Emperor's New Groove. Have I heard of Farfetch? Yes. My favorite movies are The Princess Bride, Knives Out, and School of Rock. That's pretty good. Haven't seen Blue Eye Samurai. Do I like Farfetch? It's not out yet. What's what's there to comment on? I'm not crazy, right? It's not out. Where I should watch more movies. Don't know where to start. You can pirate them. You can usually just download ad blockers like uBlock Origin and then search watch thing online. And then like, you'll get some links within the first couple pages. Jello, it's been out for years. Farfetched? No, it hasn't. I'm in the production server. What are you talking about? They're gaslighting you! <laughs> I'm I'm in that server as a consultant, and they were like, this will be a really funny prank. <laughs> we'll hire animators to turn in fake storyboards. Have I played Splatoon? I tried it, Splatoon 1, when the demo came out, and I didn't really dig it, but like... I don't know. I didn't try that hard to get into it. I only tried it for like an hour and I was like, oh, okay, not really for me. I'm sure it's been more refined since then. It's got a cool aesthetic. I'm not a Splatooner though. Splatoon isn't out yet? Why are you guys doing this to me? Yeah, I'm just I'm just not really one for I'm just not really into PvP games, to be honest. If they're working, then you're winning ha only 50% of the time, and I don't like I like to win all the time. Also, uh, ah! Not, oh, I'm sorry. Would I scare you? <laughs> yes. Jello <laughs> epithet erased. Everyone's gaslighting me and making jokes about things not being out yet. Epithet erased isn't out yet. It's it's October uh, 2019. I'm not lying. I might commit suicide if that happened. No. 
Bro, I can't. I couldn't make Epithet season one again. Don't make me do it. <laughs> Don't send me back into the trenches. Into the gulag with you. And you, you power that you, you up washing the power right now. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm at the stage with, of the map where it's me cleaning it up after ninety percent. So, oh, I'm in well. the sucky part, but. I can turn on co-op mode if you want to join. Yeah, let me in. Uh. Let me in. I was asleep until about 30 minutes ago. Wish that were me. I've been really tired this last week. A Jello could not boy. deal with being in a time loop. I could be in a time loop, but in a time loop where I have to do Epithet Erase again? Uh, no fucking way. <laughs> no fucking way, man. I probably couldn't do a time loop. I would, man, one loop and I'd be like, well, time to kill myself. Goodbye. Rip to you, but I'm different. Yeah, okay. You say that. Okay, where, what's the, what's, what, where, where, are you, where are you? Then you would loop again, Vic. I'm at the top of the thing. Wow, this is a big map. Yeah, this is near the end of the campaign. Come help me with your controller or keyboard that actually works, unlike my thing. But you see, I'm bad at this game, and I, I always forget how it works, and, um, uh, you know, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, I got it. Sifrin. <laughs> it's fine. That was what I did today. I looked at it, I set fan art uh, you do, all day. <laughs> you do that every day. I do, but today was particularly, like, I didn't achieve anything. If, okay, if I had to do a time loop where I had a scheduled stream where I had to do power wash sim levels every day, that I would, I would, I, that I couldn't do. On, like, loop three, I'd be like, I can't make the stream, I'm sorry. <laughs> You played Hathaful with me, Vixen, says Aloha, in his little I, voice. We, we did do that today. That's true. That is the one thing that I accomplished today. Oh, you're right, chat. You're so right. I, I didn't put music on. I'm so sorry. Oh. Chat, did you guys... Did you? No, I have music on. Chat, do you guys, you guys want to play a game? Real quick? So, it's not set in stone yet. But Amy and I um, finished another round of revisions on our top anime list of all time. And I, I don't want to give too much of the game away, but uh, I think it might be kind of fun for me to pick a number and see if anyone can guess what that random number is, 1 through 100. And by that, I mean that's something to do while I'm doing this. So... That's what I think is fun. <laughs> so... <laughs> All right. Um, seven? You know what? I like your your moxie. I like your enterprising. Let me check what seven is. No, sorry, guys. It's seven. Someone was quick around the draw. Let me check. Oh, okay. No, This is fun. No one's going to get this. Yeah, according to me and Amy, what's the seventh best anime opening of all time? The best Whoa. part is, this is going to be a franchise that a lot of you have heard of, but I don't know if anyone's going to get this. And I'm not going to be like, no, it's not that. No, it's not that. I'll just keep an eye out, and if you get it, I'll let you know. <laughs> Points at you, Bacchano like her. Bacchano's up there. Bacchano is 27. Bacchano only got the one OP, though. There's no mystery about it. Bakano is what it is. Bomberman Jetters is not on the top 100. That's how that's how serious I'm taking this project. 
unbiased so real block blood blockade battlefront um in today's review blood blockade battlefront dropped further than anything else on the list dang it dropped about 30 something slots can we have a hint no <laughs> giving them nothing i'll i'll give you one if i'll give you a couple more minutes it's too soon Detective Conan, no. <laughs> Not on the list. There are no, there's one what is Dunmeshi? The Dunmeshi opening isn't very good. It doesn't make the list at all. People I would have loved any Conan to make the list because there's a lot of good Conan OP songs. Yeah. But the visuals that go with are usually nothing special, unfortunately. Except for that great one where he's dancing. Uh, and doing the most, the strangest dance I've ever seen in my life. I, uh, I saved that one in the big sucko list as Sylvie br busting it down in the club sexual <laughs> style. <laughs> Stupid. Nope, no one's gotten it. Re-Zero, there are no Re-Zero openings on this list either. People are never going to get it because you're just... Guess any anime that, that you think the opening is at all good at. I don't think this is that obscure. Anime? Yeah. Hmm, I think the Dunmeshi opening is good. It isn't. No, you just like Bump of Chicken. They sing it, right? Am I making that up? Amy and I have a running joke where... Uh, people get Bump of Chicken to sing an opening, and they're like, we got Bump of Chicken, we don't have to try. Can we get a genre hint? Um, the number four is in the title. It's a, it's that genre. Yeah, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> That's Sorry? That's your hint. Persona 4, oh my god, no. <laughs> Just sat here perplexed for a second, like, what the fuck is he talking about? That prison escape anime, Nambuka? No, Lenti wishes that was on the list. There's no four in that title. There are, there isn't, there is numbers in that title. Four piece. I, I respect the guess. Namika does have a good song. It's a great song. It, it does perplexingly change just its singer for the second half and nothing else changes. It's quite bizarre. You guys are doing a very interesting job guessing anime. I don't think Shrek 4's anime opening is on the <laughs> list. Oh, they're making a live action How to Train Your Dragon? Why? Because that's the hot thing to do right now, baby. Make a live action. Get everybody mad at you so that they stream the original and stuff. I don't so, know. So someone someone wrote Sailor Moon IV, as in Roman numeral four. It is stylized IV. There's also a three in the title. They're not next to each other. You guys picked seven. This is your cross to bear now. World War Three Part Four is pretty close in format, actually. That's where the numbers go. It's not that obscure. It's not. I think at least some of you are gonna be like, oh. Is it a tacky titan? No, oh. that, that has neither a three nor a four in the title. Lupin yeah, the Third, Part Four. There we oh. go. But it like, I was fair guessing Attacky Titan because there's like the final season, part three. Two. Yeah, there sure are three final seasons. Get over yourself, Attack on Titan. It could have been Attacky Titan. Bro, if you haven't seen the Lupin the Third, Part Four opening, that's the Italy season. It's insane. It's bonkers. Wait, I guess Lupin. Did you guess part four? Didn't people say Lupin? I didn't fucking see it. There's not that many of you in there. 
and I'm uh, doing a real butts job cleaning this statue. <laughs> Lupin. Time Lupin. <laughs> oh, I am playing the I set soundtrack on my side. Jello, I want to know if the opening for Promise Neverland is good or not in your eyes. Um, the first one? I don't know the second season. Uh, but uh yeah, I, I like the first opening for Promise Neverland a lot. Amy doesn't like it as much as I do. Favorite Pokemon opening? Uh, according to this list, it's Pokemon Johto. Pokemon Johto, I'm told. That's that's a fair favorite, though. That's, it's got the best. Really good. It's got the best editing. Um, the highest English version of an opening that's on here that is not the same as the Japanese opening is the Digimon Frontier opening. Let's which go. That editing is so solid that we just like compared every other like, yeah, they had to cut together three or four Pokemon openings to make this one. Uh, we compared all of those to Digimon Frontier and every single time we were like, no, compared to Digimon Frontier, this looks like dog shit. <laughs> Digimon had good editing. It did. It always had good editing. I'm I gonna do another Zillow video. Probably not. Thoughts on Egghead? Uh, I haven't watched or read more of One Piece. The Egghead opening is really high, though. I'm, like, mad about it. <laughs> How dare One Piece be mid for 10 years and then be like, anyway, here's the best opening we've ever done by like a huge margin. Somebody was feeling inspired. Tommy Tallarico is selling his house. I know. Like 14 different people sent that to me. Well, now you're a house guy. You understand. You've done this to yourself. Man can't do shit out here without becoming the guy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's what happens. You say one thing and then you're the guy. But unlike the video game, I don't want to be the guy. Oh shit, well, you should have thought about that. I thought if Jello Plays Games got to 100k, you'd do Zillow Part 3. You said you'd do that in the highlights video. No. I said if the main channel got to 2 million. <laughs> That's very different. That different. Sleepy wash stream, yeah. Laying in bed and then they say they say to me power wash. And I'm like, damn, I gotta get up. You could have said no. But I wouldn't, Jello. <laughs> I wouldn't, would I? I wouldn't, would I? You know my 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 weaknesses. Hi, Piff. It sure Hi. is. It sure is Chula hours. Chula, you should come in in here and hang out. Chula. Make it a weird stream where Chula's here. And then Ooh. I can congratulate Chula on on her nomination yeah. we're in gel things I'm pretty sure you're in gel things Chula um yeah hey Piff pick a, pick a number between 1 and 100 10 <laughs> alright <laughs> what's up alright guys what do you think 10 is 10th best anime OP don't piff, help us. That is not a number. Doesn't work immediately. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Goku. No. Goku. 
Lupin the 10th the thir- best anime opening is not Goku. <laughs> Lupin the third again. Honestly, power move. Making like a Jigglypuff, Jigglypuff. Jig- Jojo part three is correct, actually. Um, Whoa. It's, what a pull. Technically, there's multiple of those. Uh, it's specifically the Dio version that plays in episode... Mm, there's a three at the end of it. I can't see it on my alt monitor. I cannot tell if I'm reaching parts of the statue that I'm trying to reach. How are you, By the Chua? way, hello, Chua. Yeah. Hi. hi. It's okay, been a while. About... Yes, it sure has. I have been busy. But I finally mm-hmm. have my Texas license plate. Oh, congratulations. Ooh. Yay. That took forever. Yep, tra- transferring time, cars like... bad. Yeah, the wait time in Texas in particular is seven months to get an appointment. Really? That is voter suppression. Oh yeah, you cannot you cannot register to vote. You can't get your driver's license. Seven months. That's weird. Uh Uh-huh. I do remember my problem was that Texas was like, just have one of your handy things to prove you're a Texan. (laughs) And it was like, like, it had a list of normal things that I didn't have when I moved. And it was like, you know, like, get a utility bill. And I was like, I've been staying in Airbnbs, so I wasn't paying utilities. And I was like, surely there's something else. And they're like, oh, you can bring your gun license. And I'm like, thanks, Texas. <laughs> thanks, man. Yeah, I had to order a copy of my birth certificate because I don't just keep that around. You don't keep that thing on you? No, my dad has it. And he's all the way in Florida. <laughs> Well, whoops. Oops. Hey, Chula. Yeah? Would you ever be interested in doing a fully voiced read through a pizza game on this channel? Absolutely. Great. I would adore that. I tried doing something like that with some other friends at one point, but uh, they ended up we ended up falling off the uh, we didn't stream it though. <laughs> you gotta falling off the You way. gotta have the pizza energy to read pizza game. It's true. It has been a while since I've played that. When did that come out? Uh, uh right before Epithet erased. Ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd fold my arms, annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> look, man, I had to... Look. Plaster was tinkering away at it for years and was on a hiatus of working on it for years. And then, at literally the busiest period in my life, she was like, okay, I'm pretty much done. We can just release it. And I was like, well, shit, now I can't... I don't really have the time to make you like an advertise thingy for it and she was like we don't need one i was like you're insane (laughs) 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 you think you think pizza game is gonna take off organically (laughs) it was insane i went to my friends and i'm like hey man have you heard of like a, this cool game? They're like, oh man, what is it? And I'm like, pizza game. And they're like, haha, but really, what's the game? And I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? It's pizza game. <laughs> do you not understand? Oh man. On the other hand, I had a friend who I hadn't spoken to, and I want to say a good four years messaged me out of nowhere when it came up like hello why didn't you tell me about this <laughs> i kind of want to make a video game i went Same. back into my into my files where i had all my video game idea gosh uh i remember the good old days back when i had more free time in high school and i tried to use ren pie for something tiny and i i did like a two whole two whole choice dating sim that took 15 minutes to play and i was proud of me that you should have been make video game hard it sure is i got pretty deep into it and then i was just like oh i need to like make an area how do i start feeling like fiddling around with things oh this is like hard like how does 
and they're like, oh yeah, uh, you're not supposed to use that program. You're supposed to use a completely different program to use your 3D environment. I'm like, excuse me? I'm going to have to learn like a like fifth program? <laughs> Welcome to being alive and trying to make shit. Ah, uh, yes. A lot of the time it costs money. Yeah, that's the other thing. If you want it to be really good, you gotta get people involved who are good at some of the parts. Oh, yeah. Will there be an Epithet Erased game? Aram is making an Epithet Erased visual novel that is set in the universe, but in a completely different part of it uh, with his own characters. Oh. Yeah, I've heard about this. I've been I've been excited for it. I didn't know it was uh, Epithet Erased adjacent. Yeah, I think it takes place in island country. Which, if I'm being honest, is the most setting interesting one, so he picked the right one. Is the visual novel canon? I don't know, it's not written yet. Also, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it can, it can be canon, who cares? It's in a different country. <laughs> How far along is it in terms of development? Not. <laughs> he's writing it. He's period. writing it, yeah. <laughs> and he's made pretty good progress, I think. It's been like at least a year now, right? Yeah, I think he's been tinkering with it for like two years or so. Mm hmm. Hey, I got like, uh, a, like a little project thing I wanted to like talk about real quick. It has almost nothing to do with the, what's going on here. Is that okay? No. Yeah. Leave. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Just you leave poop, I guess. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, um, I, I've been fiddling with the, my, like, VTuber model. Oh. Yeah. Um, and, uh, I was like, I don't really, like, have any particular, like, want to do anything super specific or crazy with my VTuber. But I would love to get the, like, ability to pet this particular creature. Have, like, a little redeem for that. I thought that would be great. Uh, so I've been looking into it, and it's surprisingly, like, fairly straightforward, but it requires, again, additional programs. So I wanted to make sure that, like, I'm not just freaking downloading, like, malware. <laughs> <laughs> So I need to like find somebody who, who has this, and I think uh, the the closest person that I can actually ask that would probably know that I feel most comfortable with asking would be uh, Somber. Yeah, uh, Somber. I have to find a way to get in touch with him, other than like just finding him on a stream and being like, "Hey, uh, how do you head pat? <laughs> I'm sure you what can program do you use?" <laughs> Weeb girls at meet and greets. <laughs> <laughs> what are my thoughts on Hatful Boyfriend? I think you should watch it live on Saturdays on this channel. Yay! Um, I don't, have you ever played it even? I watched my sister play some of it. Hmm. No, yeah, we got through. Uh, thing. Yeah, it's we got great. through. Um, we only have three routes left in the main story. So we still have to do Okosan, um, Ankel, and the teacher. Um, and then we, we can move on to the uh, the final story. So it's only gonna be like two more streams. Sonic Adventure final story graphic. Blue Jay. I wanna for... see Angel is one of the best routes. He is, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Blue Jay We're saving him. Super Chats, $20. Jello, you made an entire book. Do you and everyone else have any thoughts on world building? Yes. Thank you for the twenty dollars. <laughs> Such a piece of shit. That is. Do you have any specific questions? Because that's a really wide topic that I could write essays on. So. I will say, um, not to suck Isat's dick even harder, but I love that Adrian didn't answer every fucking question in the world building. Um, because if your game has a Wikipedia lore dump in the middle of it, that's stupid. Don't do that shit. <laughs> but, like, think about important things that are actually going to affect the plot, obviously. But, like, there's no reason to world build, like, shit that doesn't matter. What is my favorite underutilized trope? If characters in a show 
that's animated with voice actors do a body swap episode, don't fucking swap the voice actors. They need to do impressions of each other. If you swap the voices in the bodies, you're a cheap loser and you're cheating everybody out of a good time. The Owl House did a body swap episode where they swapped fucking, I don't know, Wendy Malik? What's, what's Ida's voice actress's name? They swapped Alex Hirsch and Ida's voice actor and I was like, oh my God, are they gonna do impressions? And they didn't and I've never felt more robbed. Oh. I kind of felt the that same way in the really Teen sad. Titan episode. <laughs> yeah, actors doing impressions of each other is so funny. And like, it's a really fun acting cha You know, something I genuinely commend, I guess not Ruby for, but specifically Aaron Dismuke is, Aaron Dismuke oh my God, does yes. such a good job voicing uh, his character as himself and as the old man inhabiting his body he does a really good job yeah i sat in on those early sessions i was just sitting there doing nothing um but it was part of my job and i i was in awe of how fucking good he was at that impression i was like holy shit aaron dismuke's really good extremely so that's a good actor right there he's funny and nice to work with. Good job, Aaron Dismuke. And a, a nice man. He directed the Nambuka dub. No, I didn't that was know the that, guy. Actually. Oh, you didn't? No. Yeah, he was like the first person to give me like a biggish role. He he trusted me. It was funny because um, in the first episode of Nambuka, my character only does her low voice. She doesn't do the high voice. And then in episode two it was revealed that she has like a, a like a, her low voice is fake and she has a high pitched voice actually um and we auditioned based on episode 1 and then i watched episode 2 because i was a little baby voice actor so i was desperately you know like i really hope i get this let's watch episode 2 um and i saw that her voice was fake and that she actually had a high voice and i sent aaron a like a desperate text where i was like oh my god i just saw this it must be so stressful for you like to make all of the momoko um actors re-audition like let me know if you need a re-audition and i'll do it right away and he went lamau you already have the part so we'll figure it out see you later <laughs> and i was like Oh. <laughs> oh, they are two separate people, Ozpin and Oscar, are the same actor. No, Ozpin is a character in the first three volumes. And then he still appears sometimes in like mental shots, but he shares a body with Oscar. And when Oscar is talking to other people, sometimes Ozpin takes over. So it's two characters, but both of them in that instance are coming out of Aaron Dismuke's mouth. Yes. And Man, he... I did not follow Ruby past volume two. What is going on? Oh, don't worry about it. <laughs> I mean, that's the... Well, listen, Chula, sometimes your show starts its plot four seasons in, and it's... Sometimes that happens. <laughs> yeah, fair. <laughs> yeah, they, they... I think Oscar was, like, one of the first characters I ever cast. And they were like, yeah, he um, is going to have to do an impression of Ozpin, and he's like a little guy. And I was like, okay, well, here's Aaron Dismuke. He's a little guy. And they were like, we love this little guy. I was like, have fun. And they were like, and oh, I don't my God, that. actors. Crazy. I don't remember the impression being part of the audition, but I'm not 100% on that. I mean, it's it was a Rooster Teeth audition, so I think there's a good chance they just didn't think that was important. <laughs> I think the funniest thing about him playing Oscar was his first episode, he doesn't talk. He just like makes a couple noises as he's like working on a farm. And someone in the comments was like, that was Aaron Dismuke. I'd recognize those noises anywhere. And I was like, huh? <laughs> what? I mean, that's fair. He's got a pretty distinct sound. That is he true. does. But it's just so funny, especially since at that point in Ruby's history, like random guest voice actors were like a thing but like not that much of a thing um so it was funny just to be like oh did, you got it wait what do you mean ozpin was the first person you cast did you direct ruby no, the no. sound cadence cast some of ruby after season uh, like starting in volume four 
for uh, an Oscar specifically. I'm not Ozpin. I did not cast Ozpin. Ozpin was a dude that worked there in the same way that many of the that original cast. Was a dude that worked there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, up until they started introducing like Crow and Winter and stuff. And then they had like guest voice actors. And then in volume four, they came to me and they were like, can you get the rest of the guest voice actors? And I was like, sure. Here's Aaron Dismuke and J. Michael Tatum and Jesse James Greeley and shit. Boy, they sure they sure wrote the worst character ever for Tatum to voice. And then we're like, that guy sucked and just dropped him from the series. <laughs> But he was the only one that showed up in Ruby Chibi, as far as I remember. So that was a thing. What do you mean he was the only one? Well, as when when we were working on it, he was the only one of our characters that we had cast that showed up in Ruby Chibi. Mm. None of those other fuckos were in Ruby Chibi. And if they have been since, I wouldn't know about it because it was past our time. Huh. Yeah. So I was like, ooh, Ruby Chibi on the resume. Here we go. Thanks, Tatum's character. Man, what is left in this thing? There's a little spot in like the left ear crook that I just cannot fucking get. Hmm. Which character did he voice? It was um, Weiss's butler. Who shows up once. <laughs> There we go. The one with like multiple personalities? It's, it's all the seven dwarves at once. Right. Oh, Hi. you're so right. I forgot about him. I forgot that's what it was. Mm -hmm. Yes, eye color changes. I, non ironically, was about to say, I wonder who I would have played if I were ever in Ruby. I'm like, I am in Ruby. Hello. What am I talking about? <laughs> You you sure fucking are. I played the only reason to watch volume nine. I love that little raccoon fucker. So did the animators. They did a great job. Or torsos labs. Could be anything. This game seems immensely frustrating. It's, yeah, but you just kind of do it while you're talking. It's a good thing to have happening, but yeah, no, I really do wish there was a button you could hit once you hit 99 that's just finish the level. <laughs> Look, Please. half of every level is this. That's kind of true. We get to 99 and you're like, all right, I have to like slightly spray like 30 different objects that are like almost done. Yeah. It's no good. What counts as helmet versus cheek guard? I stopped at four. Who did Jello play? I play like a random huckster raccoon guy who shows up. They're in like yeah, an actual fairy tale world at that point. Nobody knows why. Volume nine was the last one I cast. I think it's the last one that's going to exist. <laughs> A mystery. It took, like, a long time for that one to come out, and Rooster Teeth is hemorrhaging people. Yeah. And Volume 9 looked bad and was not received well. One of the animated movies that I had the opportunity to watch on the airplane was Ruby Meets the Justice League, and I was like, unless there is no other option for animated movies, I am not watching that. That was available on the plane. Yep, because huh. uh, a bunch of a bunch of Warner Brothers superhero schlock was on there. I, this is the helmet slab. It's this. I one. didn't even know that existed. That sounds wild. It's part one, which made it even less enticing. Because part two will certainly never exist. Because, like, man, if there's two companies I don't trust to finish making a movie and then distribute the movie, it's Rooster Teeth and then Warner Brothers, the guys who love animating movies and then deleting them from existence as a tax write-off. That is true. They do do that. They do that a lot. In fact, I watched a Scooby-Doo movie that I found out after watching it. They were going to do that, but then someone just leaked the whole movie out of frustration. So they were like, we're releasing it early. <laughs> Which, good for them. Wait, looking at your new poster, Vixen. Sorry. 
Uh, someone asked, when were you Princess Celestia in the mobile games? <laughs> cheating. Cheating. Legally true, but cheating. Cheating. Well, but I wanted Princess Celestia and Princess Cadence on there because they're cute. The, I had to find those and put those in. Those are real. <laughs> they are real. Yeah, it's the storybook apps specifically, um, not not the other mobile games. Man, I. There was two. No. Oh, Lord. Yeah, I think it was two, and then you had like an additional character. Yeah, I played Princess Celestia, Princess Cadence, and Queen Novo. Ooh. Is there a link to that poster? I'll get it for you. Oh, here's one. It's right near the ground. Hello, Mario. Oh, yeah, I. I watched and despised the Super Mario Bros. movie, and, uh,. You can hear that in full on the Patreon post where I talk about the fucking 18 things I watched on airplanes. But I I really feel that, like, you know that soldier defending someone in bed and they're getting hit by a bunch of knives and guns and shit? I feel yep. like you could do one of those memes where it says, everybody making fun of Chris Pratt, and then in the bed it's, like... Um, girl doing a three out of ten Princess Peach performance and guy doing the worst imaginable Cranky Kong performance because, oh, this shoots a laser out of its eyes, huh? Cool. Oh. Alright. Yeah. Sick. Yeah, this guy started out brown. What's the best thing I watched on the plane? Across the Spider-Verse. I've got Clean the Shoe House. Oh. I watched the D&D &D movie on, on a plane. That was pretty good. I got Clean the Stunt Plane. Let's... Do you mind if we keep doing mine? Because I'm pretty close to the end of the career path. Yeah, go for it. Oh, little guy. Friend-shaped. Plain. I thought the movie was pretty good as a Mario fan. I... I'm not gonna... You can pay to have me go into it. I don't even... <laughs> I, I really it. went off about it. Um, It's just the most, like, made for... The most gen... My favorite thing I could say about it. Like, my favorite thing where I was like, I can't wait to put this in the review was... Air Canada has a warning before every movie, no matter what it is. It's like, this might not be suitable for all audiences because they didn't want to check. So they just did a blanket statement before every movie. And I was like, if you told the Illumination guys that there was a, this might not be suitable for all audiences warning before their movie, they'd start crying because their <laughs> whole job is making the most like, artless for every audience that's ever existed make us a billion dollars movies and if you told them it might not be suitable they'd be like mm. <laughs> I hate them I like it's not enough to dip for them to dip into uh, Mario's incredible 30 plus years of iconic soundtracks and like do remixes and stuff to suit the movie they're like, we need to put in radio play hits that feel terrible and take you out of the moment. We need to put AHA's take on me, a song I normally love in front of Mario as he jumps around. And it's like, am I in purgatory? <laughs> oh, the Luma is the best part of the Mario movie? No, man. So bring up a different movie. I'm tired of being cynical cigarette in my mouth guy at the back of a restaurant who hates everything. All dogs go to heaven. I don't... I haven't watched that recent enough to have any kind of opinion on it. I used to love that movie. It used to scare the shit out of me. 
Jason and isn't that movie? what all best movies do in I your childhood? I don't remember it at all. I watched it when I was like six and it's completely gone from my memory. Charlie goes to hell at one point and there's just an extended sequence where he's in hell and getting tortured, you know? I see. Bolt. <laughs> I, the first time I met Austin, we watched Bolt and Chicken Little. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, it was a great evening. <laughs> oh, hold on. Austin's a great guy. Oh, well, yes, but I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Columbo, a friend indeed. That one's pretty good. Feels like the final case of an Ace Attorney game. I haven't actually heard your thoughts on uh, the, the latest Ghibli movie. I haven't watched it yet. Okay, okay. I was gonna say, because I have uh, a less than favorable opinion of it, actually. Yeah, I've heard it's a, a little divisive. Piff, do you happen to know what button you press to make your gun stabilize? It seems like knowledge you might have. Uh, like V or C? Jello, there's- it's C, thank you. There's no way you can be critical with the greatest movie of all time, Shrek. You know? <laughs> you know? It- I- I'm- it's great that Shrek has been immortalized. I'm a little sad for Shrek because Shrek... It's better than a meme. Shrek is an actually pretty good movie. Like, it's not amazing amazing. It's not like a Spider-Verse here, but like, Shrek changed the game, man. Um, True. It, it actually did. Like, everyone tried to keep doing Shrek afterwards. That's why there's so many Madagascar movies and they're like, what if Shrek had no love in it? <laughs> it sucked. Yeah. Um, My mom, she, every time she took me to see a kid's movie, uh, she'd always come out of the theater like, man, well, it wasn't Shrek. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> she genuinely loved it too. Shrek was good. I remember seeing it when it was new and being like, hell yeah, this is a good movie. The human characters in Shrek still look good, and that's insane. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. Princess Fiona's human form isn't a horror to look upon, and that movie came out almost 25 years ago. Yeah, it's one of my, like, pet peeves when something, like, good becomes a meme, and then everyone's like, Lamau, it's sucko, and I'm like, you're just wrong. My my Shrek franchise hot takes are the fourth one is good. Um, and it came out after the third one, which is like hot dog shit. So people had kind of given up on it. Um, mm. And it was already memed by the time the fourth one came out. Not nearly to the degree it is now, but like, yeah. And I think my hottest Shrek take is... Shrek 2 is not a good movie, but it ends with one of the best scenes in cinema history. So that's what everybody walks out of the theater remembering. And I know I don't mean animation history. I do mean cinema history. Because that holding out for a hero castle sequence is flawless. It's really good. But Second the... best usage of all-star in an animated movie. <laughs> You're right, actually. I agree. <laughs> For oh, me, the, the Digimon movie English song is always going to be one week, because that's where I heard that the first time. That's fair. Yeah. Same. We're the kids in America was very good. Yeah. 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 Kids in America, I had not even heard on the radio prior to seeing it in that movie, so... My baby sister is getting married next year, and she said her dress makes her feel like Princess Fiona. What an interesting sister you have. <laughs> <laughs> I've I've still haven't seen Trolls Three. Sorry. I kind of want to rewatch Trolls One and Two. To I check if I'm insane. <laughs> you know? People like those movies. I don't think you're crazy for liking them. That's good. I, like... <sighs> Trolls 1 has the energy of watching an actually pretty bad movie, but, like, your friends are there poking fun at it, so you're having a good time. But, like, it feels like that if you watch it alone. Hmm. Like... And I wouldn't say it's, like, self-aware. It's just, like... I mean, that whole sequence... The the whole, like... 
uh, music killed my grandma okay sequence is just amazing. Like, it's amazing. You're amazed to look at it. The things that happen in the order they happen. <laughs> Him saying those words in that order, it being played completely straight, and then Poppy going like, oh my god, like not saying, I'm so sorry, or what do you mean? She, she does say, what do you mean? He doesn't respond. She goes, what was she singing? <laughs> Which is a strange <laughs> thing to say. And then Branch, that's his name, right? Justin Timberlake responds yeah. with, I was I the one singing. And it cuts to him as a baby singing Total Eclipse of the Heart. And then his grandma dies in front of him in a hilarious take the bullet sequence where she's grabbed by an ogre. <laughs> and, and he goes, <laughs> Grandma! And gets so sad that he turns grayscale. Like, it's it's like so close to them playing the Tokyo Ghoul opening over him singing it. <laughs> and it's so funny. And then, like, you can hear it goes from him singing it to, like, a non-diegetic choir singing total eclipse of the heart then it fades back to the present and the rest of the cast has been standing to the left and after being told my grandma died while i was singing this song they are all singing that song at him and staring with blank faces that movie is incredible <laughs> i love trolls I don't have any of the soap chat uh, and I don't think I can buy it while I'm in co-op you, mode. You can't use it um, when you are, yes, you're right. When I'm the co op -in. When you're the co-op-in, you're the Copenhagen. Yeah, sorry, I'm a little low on, um, I guess I've got some, let's check. I might have some more metal cleaner, but I just bought about 30 stone cleaners and burned all of them on that fucking statue. Mm. That's plastic. Mm. Okay, yeah, I got plenty of metal cleaner. Trolls 1 was good. I don't like Trolls 2. I like Trolls 2 a lot more non-ironically, but that's because I'm a huge fan of when things like... Mm, how do I phrase this? I really like it when things use multiple mediums to tell a story even within animation, especially if they play with shit like texture. So, like... The Spider-Verse movies are really great at that. They're like kind of unparalleled at how good they are. And one of, I'm like, I'm having so much fun just being like, wow, like they animate this character like he's a sticker on a guitar case. And this girl is like a watercolor painting. It looks amazing. And Trolls 2 is about going to all the different uh, music genre troll tribes. And each one of them is made of craft supplies, but they're all made of a different kind of craft supply. And I think that's really cool. And there is a song about historical revisionism sung by the Funk Trolls, and it's fucking awesome. It's called It's All Love. It's on YouTube. Le legit go watch it. It's, like, really good. Uh, though Trolls 2 does have a stupid-ass ending. <laughs> if Can't be perfect. Is Vixen streaming? How do you get there? Why? I'm not good enough for you? <laughs> Listen, on my side, they can put you in a little cage. See, this is why you have two monitors. Um, yeah, Vixen is Vixen underscore VTuber on Twitch. Yeah. So if you prefer a Twitch watch, then you can come to my side. Oh, man. I, I don't fully agree with you. Uh, I guess that's Azalea, but it's spelled weird. My Shrek hot take is that Puss in Boots 1 and 2 are of similar quality. The difference is that 1 is better enjoyed ironically, while 2 is better enjoyed genuinely. I respect you for that. That's interesting. Puss in Boots... So, my Puss in Boots hot take... I can't say I'm a Puss in Boots The Last Wish hater, but I am someone who thinks it's, like, just slightly above average rather than incredible. And uh, I talked about this with Bo for quite a while because Bo is my favorite person to talk to about things I would call college level art critique. And Puss in Boots 1 is not a great movie. Uh, it does have that ugly egg though and he amuses me because he's so <laughs> ugly. Uh, but so in that movie, it's set in, like, fantasy Spain and, like, with some flavor of fantasy Mexico. 
because puss is just ambiguously spanish i think he's supposed to be like spaniard spanish but um mm-hmm. the first puss in boots movie is very like desert western based and it uses all these really interesting old timey like f- like like the searchers era western shots like westerns used to play with framing a lot so how do i what the fuck is this song hang on <laughs> i think i'm listening to the shitty version of the post office and animal crossing and i gotta change that before i keep talking my shrek hot take is that the gamecube game for shrek 2 i think is actually really decent i agree I played it on PlayStation, but I assume it's the same game. It's, yeah, probably the same game. It was pretty good. Um, yeah, you can, you can play co op. It's fun. But yeah, so um, this is hard to explain without visuals, but old Westerns liked to do things where not only would they frame stuff like, you know, famous shots like guy framed in saloon doors, but they would have multiple POVs on screen, kind of like in comic book panels in the middle of a black background where you'd see like, different shots of the same shit happening and Puss in Boots 1 does that and I think it's a really cool choice and I like it every time they do it and one time they even have this great joke where Puss has been left for dead and it's like it's doing that again and it plays it very seriously for a second where you're like seeing him on the ground and then the vultures and then it like the black box shoots away and it turns out they're actually like right next to each other in a way you wouldn't have expected based on how they were framed. He's like, get out of here. And I'm like, that's a good joke. And Puss in Boots, The Last Wish, like objectively looks great, but also I think it's just a tech demo for Shrek 5. I don't really like its color palette. And they're like, the setting is a forest that's made of your like, it tests everybody individually and it's made out of like your worst fears. And it's like, that is an amazing setting. And they're like, don't worry though. We got this dog who's not afraid of any, he doesn't afraid of anything. (laughs) So it kind of just looks like a bisexual forest. And it's like, oh, that's deeply lame. Actually, that sucks a lot. Um, And it just kind of looks like how Spider-Verse is animated because DreamWorks was like, all right, this is our test movie before we reboot Shrek with Shrek 5, which you know they're doing because that's how they end The Last Wish, is they're like, Puss in Boots will return in Shrek 5. Oh, no, they announced that there was going to be a Shrek 5 forever ago. I mean, yeah, they've been announcing it every couple years, but like, this is one they can't walk back, you know, because it's it's in their movie. And that all looks good, but like, if I were the, if they turn that in for college like 305 art critique and I was the professor and I went so why did you make it look like this they would go uh I don't know I thought spider verse looked cool and I can't say that the last wish isn't a good movie and I definitely can't say it's better than the first puss in boots movie but I do think it deserves a little bit of flack for that I didn't see it, but man, between Antonio Banderas and that dog. That dog, man. I can understand why people were like, oh, I'm obsessed with this right now. Like, I I wanted more of that dog. And also it's like, the death is so good. Death is so good in that movie. And he fucking steals the Very show. Much. And then they're like, but here's eight other antagonists. And I'm like, I don't give a shit about any of them. And it's like, but it's John Mulaney. I'm like, yeah, maybe that would have excited me seven years ago. Where's that dog? I actually really liked Goldilocks. Well, yeah, Horner was definitely like lacking, but I I thought that the the Goldilocks storyline was pretty warm, like heartwarming, so. I yeah, think... again, I haven't seen it. I just, I saw people posting clips of like, here's Antonio Banderas and that dog. And I was like, well, I can understand why you're all watching this movie right now. Yeah, that dog is great. Um, Azalea says, oh, you don't need $10 to defend yourself. Yoink. I feel the need to defend myself. I think Puss in Boots 1 was way more intentional directional choices and egg. And 2 should have just been death. They're like an ironic 5 and a genuine 7. You're right. You're right, and I agree with you. I uh, I did give that movie a seven, and everyone else who watched it with me was like, I don't know about that, Chief. And I was like, I, I stick by my rating scale. <laughs> you know what? It might have gotten an eight. 
had at the end, had they not beat Jack Horner and then had the cool death confrontation, I was like, good movie, great ending. And then Jack Horner shows up and it's like, it's me again. And I'm like, what? But we fought death. Who is the better and more relevant villain? Why are you here? John Mulaney. And I was like, all right, seven. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Horner is an amazing one-scene villain who they kept around for every scene. <laughs> yeah! I'll give Aloha money if I want. You can't stop me. That's true. Here's 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 a in an animated movie hot take. Uh, <laughs> I have so much more respect for your celebrity casting if I've ever heard of the celebrity in my fucking life. And at the very least, when John Mulaney was in fucking everything, I'm like, well, at least I know who John Mulaney is. And he's got like an interesting voice print and, you know, he has comedy styling. So I get it. Every time Aquafina shows up in anything, I'm like, you made up a celebrity. I've never heard of this woman in my fucking life, but Bo she's all over the place. Bo and I had, um, I actually meant to put these on Patreon and we never did. We made multiple bad move, bad animated movie bingo cards because we were watching 90 movies uh, for that Nickelodeon project, which is also on my Patreon. That's like the longest review I've ever done. Collectively, it's like three hours and some change because um, it's 90 movies. And one of the Bo suggestions was just Aquafina. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I had never heard of her before she started being in a bajillion zillion animated movies. And I was like, who the fuck is this? And like, I'm, I'm sure she's got some kind of career, but it is, as someone who doesn't keep up with celebrities, I think your celebrity casting is most valid if even I have heard of them. And then I'm like, okay, well, I you mean, undoubtedly this person's famous. You know who I don't like? Hmm. Um, so... <laughs> Will Forte. I don't and know who that is. So, I also don't know who that is. Will Forte is like one of those guys who like shows up in voice acting stuff a lot, like a celebrity, but like, I don't know what he's famous for. And I know he's Abraham Lincoln in Clone High. And he's oh, like- Oh, okay. He's one of those dudes who does a bunch of stuff, but or like did a bunch of like adult cartoons and like, produced a bunch of stuff and now i think he's just like in circles where he gets to be in things and i just okay. hate his performance every time he shows up and i'll be like why isn't this good oh it's will forte like that scoob movie when warner brothers was like what if we did a warner brothers cinematic universe and everyone went shut the hell up warner brothers <laughs> uh, someone they... in my chat says i think he was on snl mm, that yeah being on SNL needs to stop being something that gets you jobs, by the way. Yeah, We're Will Forte was, um, he was old Scott in the Scott. Yeah, Hogan I didn't like him in that either. It was just a bizarre choice because I was like, I think Michael Why Sarah wasn't it Michael Sarah? Michael Sarah was doing like a fucking bang up job in that anime. I was like, he could have played old Scott. There's I no like, reason to recast him. I like Michael Sarah in everything I see him in. I he always think he good. does a good job. And also, he always plays characters I like because they cast him as a little guy. <laughs> but, <laughs> they do. Um, Will Forte, to me, most damningly, is uh, Shaggy in that Scoob movie. And mm. they really were like, let's get the only man on Earth who can't do a Shaggy Rogers voice and cast him as Shaggy. And it's like, man, we really needed a, a movie celebrity to play this. Wait, hey, hang on. Who normally plays Shaggy? Oh, Matthew Lillard, a movie Matthew star Lillard. who fucking kills it as Shaggy every time and played him in live action and plays him animated and he's in fucking Scream and stuff. Oh my God. Matthew Lillard was so good in the FNAF movie. Yeah, he's in FNAF too, isn't he? Yeah, he fucking, he's the man behind the slaughter, and he takes the role so goddamn serious. Because I love that for him. Matthew Lillard is so good at horror movies and camp. They do a Scream reference, even, and I was like, oh, look at this. Everyone's having a great time. It's like, and like, he's right there. He's right there, and they didn't cast him. And then 
I watch, no one on earth gives a shit about this movie, I'm sure, but I watched a movie called Ruby Gilman Teenage Kraken, which wasn't good, but I liked it okay, because some of the dialogue in the first part was good, and it was a little bit cute. But uh, everyone was doing a pretty good job, and I hadn't heard of anybody in the movie except Jane Fonda. And I was like, who are these people? They're doing a pretty good job. The, the acting's pretty good. And even people who didn't like the movie were like, the acting was pretty good. And then there's this one guy doing this like, I'm a salty sea dog voice. In like the way you do for like, you know, if you're DMing something, or like you're dungeon mastering and it's like, oh, I didn't think I'd need a voice for this guy. Yar, I'm an archetype. And then this character ends up being like important. And I was like, oh, he's not doing so great. And credits roll around. And I'm like, it's Will fucking Forte again. Get him out of here! Like, God, like, I don't I don't like Chris Pratt, but at least the dude knows how to be a voice actor when he's not not doing Mario well. At least he has credits where I'm like, yeah, you've done voice acting at least. He Unlike did that Will Lego Forte. movie. Yeah, he was fine in the Lego movie. He's really yeah, good like in the Lego, Lego movie. movie. He, he does a good job, especially in the second one where he's playing two characters. And legitimately, I was like, I'm pretty sure that's just Chris Pratt again. And then, like, as the movie went on, I was like, maybe it isn't. He's doing a good job if it is. And then it was. And I was like, all right, Chris Pratt. Like, I wouldn't so hire He just you. needs to be cast properly, and nobody knows what they're doing. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, the person who cast the Mario movie didn't give a shit. No. No, no, no. Will Forte is also in Gravity Falls, apparently. Really? Who is he? Is he, like, a one-off villain who did a bad job? <laughs> I love uh, in the FNAF movie. There's this 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 great fucking like it's all just a reaction shot, but it's like um he's he's like explaining to uh, the main character like oh here's how we're gonna get you in the in the scary pizza place. It's a job that I'm gonna give to you, and he's like you only have to do like one thing, and it's like keep people out and um you know keep the place tidy or whatever the hell he says, and then. Uh, Josh Hutcherson says that's two things and the f look on Matthew Lillard's face is so quietly infuriated <laughs> and I was like damn he's he's acting right now right at me oh he's he's the he's the guy who goes get him get him all right fine here sorry Will Forte <laughs> you do a great job when you have two words to say there wow I've apologized to Will Forte <laughs> Look, man, his, when he sh his this shaggy stream, is, he'll be happy. His shaggy is bad. And like, how you're can allowed you not to be personally do... incensed about that? Like, Shaggy is one of those voices that every white man just has. Like, everyone's got a Kermit, you know. Like, everyone can just do it. So, like, what tube did he come out of that he can't play Norville, aka Shaggy? <laughs> That's his name. <laughs> My buddy Norville. Hey. I didn't know you were a fan of uh, <laughs> Mitty Kaling's Velma, uh, where, where they call him that exclusively, I think. His name is Norville in every version. But, they, but they don't call him Shaggy, I think. I'm a white girl and I have a better Shaggy! <laughs> I believe you. Why have Will Forte Shaggy when you can have Zac Efron Fred? You know, I, I give oh, Zac Efron a pass. Because he did okay as Fred, and Frank Welker is still playing Scooby. Hmm. I like Zac Efron. He was fine. He's usually fine in stuff. To be honest, the only movie I've seen with him in it is uh, High School Musical. That's the one that comes to mind, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He was fine, but you know, it was High School Musical. But I saw him on stage. I saw him in... Hairspray, and I quite liked him. And he's got a cute little face. Is he like one of those Daniel Radcliffe's who does stage stuff randomly? Yeah. Mm hmm. I like that for him. Yeah. Chula, do you have any voice acting anti celebrity crushes? Oh, uh, well, you've heard me before. Uh, I have very minor gripes with uh, Monica Rial, but mostly, mostly that I 
cannot stand her like really high pitched kid voice. But she keeps getting cast as that, even though I know that her lower voices are phenomenal. <laughs> oh. She was in Ruby doing a low voice. Was um, she she was also in another show that I watched recently doing a, a low voice that I thought was really good. She was also in Genlock doing a low voice. Uh, in yeah, Ruby, yeah. she plays um, Sienna Khan, the like uh, oh, leader the of cool White Fang. character who shows up and Dies. explodes. Yeah, that's a bummer. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but that was her. That's a shame. I, but I also watched uh, Clear Card recently, and they had her in as <clears throat> Sakura, um, which I thought was a uh, lesser cast. Don't you mean Sakura? <laughs> there was a continuation from uh, Subasa Chronicles, actually. I think she plays her there, and they just decided. Oh, to keep I it. see. Yeah, that makes sense. I did I did watch that, but I didn't realize I actually didn't watch the dub of that. It's that also where Jason out. Liebricht as the boy comes from, which is I've never heard it, so I don't know what it sounds like, but every time I look at it, I'm like, man, that is not the character I expect to see next to Jason Liebricht's name. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sorry, I <laughs> No, I just yeah, had a genuine laugh at someone saying, I think Christina V is underappreciated. <laughs> Dude, Christina V is in everything. What are you talking She's about? A lot of stuff. She's good though. She's fine. I mean, I guess to be fair, one can say one is underappreciated even when they're really popular, if you mean that you want them to be like stupid popular in comparison hey, she's to this really pretty popular. fucking popular. Go look at her yeah, Twitter no, account. I... Yeah. She's been in so She's much. doing fine. <laughs> well, yeah, no, I'm just saying one can um, I know, say I know. that someone is underappreciated relative. Yeah. I I have no notes on like her acting or anything, but I do think if you ask me to cast like anime the movie with like the most anime voices of all time, I would cast Christina V as the lead. Mm. Yeah, that tracks. You know who would be in that, in, in anime, the movie, and would deserve every second of it? Bryce Pappenbrook. That man is a fucking delight, and I'm mad Definitely. that people... I'm mad that people meme him, where they're like, oh, Bryce is in everything, and I'm like, he should be in more. He's a delight, <laughs> and he's fucking talented, and the fact that people meme when he shows up is a disservice to how much that man deserves. If you come into my house and say that you're sick of hearing Bryce and things, I'll kill you. <laughs> I I feel like Bryce is within five years from getting his Johnny Young Bosch, Yuri Lowenthal. Hey, why were we mad at him being an everything upswing? I hope so, because um, he's a fucking sweetie pie. It's not an actor's fault that every casting director gets lazy and puts them in everything. That's yeah. That's also like... I definitely understand fully what you're saying, Chula, about um, Monica, though also I love Monica Rial and she's a sweetie. Uh, but yeah, like- No, I believe that. And I, I'm, it's not necessarily her fault. It, it's yeah, I, it's casting 90% of the casting. time. Yeah. I do, mm -hmm. I generally dislike when um, there is, I, I kind of understand why, but there is a reluctance to get child talent in anime dubs and like, Oh, but I love it so much. It's so good. Like, okay, look, there are some shows like Sweetness and Lightning, and oh, if Amy was around, she could help me with this. There's a show about a uh, calligrapher who gets yelled at and moves to an island, and a little girl keeps bugging him all the time. And in the English dub, the little girl is voiced by an adult, and the show is unwatchable. Not because they're doing like a terrible performance, but it's just like, this isn't cute. And then in Japanese, it's like a five year old, and you're just like, oh, it's a baby! <laughs> Every time she talks, Bake Monogatari, hi Yam. Yeah, in a in in my dubs, I do tend to like to have child talent unless it it, it is not feasible for some reason. And God, every time uh, Brady Minahan and Jack Britton are the two that I use constantly. And every time I hear them, I'm like, oh, you so cute. They're good. It, it just adds that little je ne sais quoi to how cute a character is. Especially like a child if it's character. Tribe 9 and they're like, friends aren't real. <laughs> like they're doing yeah. an anime dialogue <laughs> and it's like, yeah. Sad um, little boy. Someone, someone says, Jello, what do you have on Patreon? A lot of audio posts. Um, 
a lot of epithet stuff behind the scenes. Uh, all the so this is basically is have storyboards and funny dialogue, dialogue, uh, funny DMs between me and Oz, uh, who is my illustrator. Those are those are good. I like looking at those. There's literally like there's got to be at least a hundred hours of audio on there. Uh, the Sweetwater Breakdown's pretty cool. That's a series that I spent like five months working on. It was gonna be my the thing I worked on after Epithet, but then I just didn't do it because my hands were broken for too long and I needed to get back to Epithet. Oh, uh, Barakamon? Was that what you were thinking of? Hey, Vixen, I'm thinking of buying Persona 3 Reload. Would you recommend Persona 3 story-wise? Yeah, but I would I would tell you to pick up the PSP version if if you if it was feasible because playing as the girl I think is like the superior way to experience Persona 3. That's the general review I've always heard. Oh, yeah. Shout out to the, um, shout out to Bluey, not that it needs it. Yeah, Bluey's great and it's like all child actors fucking killing it. Child actors are just cute. Sorry, I interrupted the only you. The side of um casting child actors in like long-running cartoons is that they grow. That's yeah, not, but that's not really a you can do problem something cute like, anymore. like Gumball does, where they do like the handoff episodes where they like, you know, they cough and their voices change and it's fine. Also, you know who was a child actor who used to play fucking Gumball? Jacob Hopkins. Is Jacob Hopkins, who. Yeah, Jacob yeah. Hopkins is one of those actors who's so good, he makes me angry out of jealousy. He's so yeah. fucking. He's so fucking he's good. He's really good. I'll put that man in anything. <laughs> He's so fucking talented. It was funny. Um, Kenichi, the Mightiest Disciple OVAs, which are now up for pre-order. Whoa. Oh, he plays cool. He plays like the villain who is going to be important in the manga, but doesn't do anything in the OVAs and is just fucking around the entire time. And I'm just like, this is just Shun Tribe 9 again. <laughs> it's the same character. That's fine. He's good at that character. Did I? I was just like, well... No, okay, it wasn't that. There was there was one I didn't end up casting him, but there was uh one thing I was casting where I was like, this is gonna be Jacob Hopkins. <laughs> I just looked at the character as like stinky. Stinky. And Jacob was 19 when we did Tribe 9. And every time he would like give a fucking great like performance, I'd be like, fuck you, how dare you be this good? What's an elevator on an airplane? I don't know. What elevates the airplane? I mean, like, besides the wings, apparently. What show or movie has the best casting, oh. in my opinion? Anything? It's these. These? These, like, the back oh, part okay. of this little wing. Um, I mean, not to keep sucking its dick, but the second Spider-Verse movie has a bunch of people I've never fucking heard of, and everybody kills it. Oh, it's, yeah. I think it was better than the first, It's actually. definitely better than the first. I'm, yeah, that was, I didn't get any flack for this, to be honest, but I saw the first one, I was like, wow, amazing, so glad I saw it in theaters, so I can support art like this, 8 out of 10, <laughs> because, like, it was the perfect execution of a superhero origin story, I'm like, it sure was a superhero origin story, though, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then this one was like, what if it was emotionally nuanced and really interesting, and most of the conflict was, like, inter-family stuff? and like really well-written and well-acted arguments. And then what if the cast was even better? And I'm like, oh, d fuck, man. I guess you're a 10 out of 10. Genuinely, about like an hour and a half into the movie, I don't remember what it was that made me go, yeah, that's a 10. But for a while I was like, I might have to, uh, this might be an 11. <laughs> it's like, this might be the best movie I've seen. <laughs> I watch, I also watched it twice. Um, and I cried both times. Yeah. What do I think about Miguel O'Hara? He seems he's a pretty good character. I like him and Spot. I think they're good villains. <laughs> I was fully pre prepared for you guys to say our eyes had stream. I, th the eyes had stream was so good, it'll make me quit voice acting. I'll be so honest with you. I was just like, damn, it doesn't get any better than this, gamers. I just bought the game so I could play on my own sometimes. Yeah, enjoy. It's I'm fucking good. Fun. Anyway, we gotta clean this big hand. Big hand. Catch these hands. Clean these hands. How'd you get job? 
ask and be good. Or if you uh, move to move to Los Angeles, then you don't even need to be good. You can do anything out here. I mean, it's like you won't, you can't have a good time, but like no one checks if you're good at anything. So just uh, show up and lie and uh, be terrible at everything. That's I found every every single business works that way out here, and everyone's God, like, "I wish that were me." It's like LA is like, yeah, it tests you. It's it's a test, and it's like it's not a test. It just sucks. Listen, not everything's a I test. have been applying to things for half a year, and I have sent out like well into the double digits worth of job applications, and I have not gotten a single interview for anything. That's because you don't live in Los Angeles, where <laughs> yeah. nobody. Well, see. You don't need to be good, but you do need to know someone. And I don't even mean like, like to get like a good job. I just mean like if you've got someone who's like, yeah, man, do you breathe? And if you like lie to them, like, yeah, you can just get any job. I hate it here. What's something I would say, hey, don't put this in a demo recording. Um, someone once sent me an 11 minute long clip of them doing a Transformers impression with a really, really unintelligible voice effect on it as an audition for my stuff. So I wouldn't do that. I don't want your meat wad impression. That voice is unusable in any other circumstance. You, it's not You know useful. what? I would rather have a demo of you doing six... Don't give me six different voices. Give me six different emotions. Yes. I would rather I you know have you can one act. voice and you show me you can act. I don't want to hear like, here's my normal voice. I'm just a normal girl. Here's my little anime girl voice. Don't want it. Never going to use it. Never going to cast you for that. More often than not, I am just casting the good actors that I know to do voices that they show off in the audition that I didn't even know they could do. So getting a demo reel where you can do a bajillion voices is like, cool, this doesn't really mean anything to me because I'm going to audition you to see if I want to cast you as voices. The demo reel is where you convince me that you're a good actor and so many people's demo reels fail at that. A lot of things are casting solely based on demo reels right now. Yeah, it sucks. Um, auditions are good and should happen. I enjoy getting to do them. And when you get... If you're making an audition packet, you should put all your characters on it. You shouldn't just be like, I'll figure it out. I'll guess. I like, about... some, some characters are gonna be... Yeah, the mains. Like, the some characters are gonna be minor enough that, like, it's like, okay, whatever, you know, I'll figure it out. But, like, I'm talking, if, if I'm talking one of your about mains the auditions where it's like, you got a, you got a mid-voiced guy and a gruff-voiced guy. And then the show comes out and there's six main guys in it. And it's like, those are, those could have been different. What if someone brought something to the table and you just- Put them on the audition yeah. packet. What's the absolute worst thing I've been in? Uh, I'm really embarrassed of this old uh, did you know anime thing for Bacano that I was asked to do and I just, I, I don't know, I just like kind of phoned it in. I don't know why, but I'm like, I think I was like, should I do some kind of accent? Cause it's Bacano. And like, I just kind of half-assed it and I felt really bad about it. I think that's my worst performance. And, like, no one watched that, but, like, I remembered it. And after that, I was like, well, never going to let that happen again. I'm going to try every time. I'm going to pretend that whatever I'm in is really good. And if I can't do that, then I'm going to be like, well, if people watch this, they're going to be like, well, at least that guy was good. Mm -hmm. I, I could not tell you what the worst thing I've ever been in is. I've, I've been in a lot of shit at this point, and yeah. I'm sure I've forgotten most of the worst of it. You forget most of what you're in. You just get brought I'm still pretty shit. low on numbers, so I probably can answer that, but I don't know if I should because I'm low no. on numbers. <laughs> yeah, no, don't. Don't. There's no reason to fucking trash talk oh, shit that you're in. I know yeah. the worst thing that we were almost in, Chula. Oh, yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> mm hmm. That sounds like a story. Um... 
So there was some dude, man. I was literally telling somebody this story like a month ago. <laughs> Do you want to tell it? Because I, I know so many fucking idiot dudes. I feel like I'm going to mix up who, like, which dude this was. I remember, like, our react. What I remember is there was a guy who was like, do you want to be in, it might have been a Ruby abridged actually, like two, or, like one or two volumes into Ruby. So a long time ago. And- Oh, actually this isn't what I was thinking. What were of. you thinking of? I was thinking of the one, uh, the one video game that somebody tried to make and just couldn't get any organization done. It was like the, 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 the Tesla beta, that that game were they like anime robot girls yeah that's that was the one. same guy this is the same guy oh we, you're right we got contacted he contacted me and this was back at the time we were like so hungry to do anything this was like voice mm -hmm. acting alliance age and yeah yeah and yeah. he was like do you want to be in this and like chula and i were like new and didn't know how to be like no this looks like a waste of our time if something looked bad so I was like, Aram Chula and I like acting. Send us the script. And he sent us the script and like line two was like the N word or something. Oh my God. And Aram was, oh, Aram was powerful enough to just leave the call. And I was like, God, I wish that were me. But Chula and I were not. Uh, and we were in the proximity of this untalented weirdo for a while. We never did anything. We never recorded anything. Yeah. That dude was like, that dude was uniquely crazy. My God, I only barely remember this, but I do remember that one, that one quote that we kept saying for years, the fan fiction fan... dollar sign, dollar yeah, sign, he... dollar sign. Yeah, it like, it doesn't make more, I can't like try to explain why it was funny to us, but we did quote it a lot. Why did yeah. we say it? Because we were like, we were like 17 or 19 or something. And it was like, I don't know. It was, this was before Discord. Like if you got in a Skype conversation, we were like, it's too rude to leave immediately. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. Like, Unfortunately, I, I people will now. take advantage of teenagers on the internet. Uh, this guy was also definitely like 15. Yeah, Ugh. yeah, yeah. No. But like, you don't know that from an email when you're also a stupid teenager, right? Mm -hmm. Aram's power in that situation was being an adult. Aram also has a really, really distinct ripcord I'm out moment. And he, like, once it's pulled, he's not subtle about it. It doesn't come up much, but, like, just like, I wish I were dead. Like, he'll just say that out loud. <laughs> Powerful. It was Aram's birthday. Happy belated birthday into the universe, Aram. We love you. Yes, it was. Yes. 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 Great job. <laughs> Why do you love the food when the cold food go out and the hot food go in? Yes. <laughs> was watching a guy who plays Resident Evil games and he was doing a bit where he watched that stupid meme video every time he failed a like a one life only or you have to restart run. And then halfway through the video, I realized that was Gianni's video of him reading, <laughs> you cannot escape Gianni Matragrani. <laughs> and you shouldn't want to, that man's delightful. Yeah, Gianni's great. I. I wish I could like wave a wand and like give Gianni self-confidence. I I feel like almost every other time I talk to him, I'll be like, you're doing great, man. Or I saw you in this thing. It'll be like, thank you so much. I am but a worm on the ground. Do not look at me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds like him. And he'll he'll always respond with an essay that's like, it's incredible that you think that. Thank you incre incredibly. I... <laughs> Yeah, he it, does it write essays. so much. <laughs> He'll write the longest response, and then I won't hear from him for like six months. And then the next time I hear from him, he's like, how you doing? Here's a long paragraph about how I hope you're doing well. And I'm like, like you're so sweet. What the fuck? Like, God. He's also extremely funny. He's very yes. funny. 
God, Very funny. Like, yeah, thank you so much for your praise. God bless. I hope you make it. I hope it it all works out, man. <laughs> uh, th but it won't work out for me because I am but dirt on the boot of a worm. Do not talk to me. But thank you anyway. <laughs> like that's that's how Gianni DMs you. <laughs> it's true. It's very different from his like meme lord public persona. It's very funny. I love him. Also, someone says, I've recently come across some YouTube shorts with an AI voice that sounds so much like Aram and it's fucked up. That's because that's it is Aram. Aram. He's he's one of the official TikTok voices. Yeah. That, which yeah. is that so is weird. Aram. It's so weird. Yeah. Every time I hear it, I'm like, oh my God, AI Aram's talking to me. I've it's, only heard it once so far, but it's definitely He's not like a popular one, but Aram is like, weird guy voice on TikTok. He's an official TikTok voice. <laughs> what? That's actually him? Yeah. That's that Aram. is actually him. I remember him. He, they, he didn't know it was for TikTok. He knew it was like an AI voice and he got paid like, I don't know, like $2,000 for it, which definitely isn't enough. No, but that's definitely not no. enough. Should be like 20,000. <laughs> they took well, fucking advantage of him, but- that's why they don't tell you what it's for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he deserved way more money and AI voice bad, but uh, it's very funny to be watching something on TikTok and then suddenly AI Aram's talking to me. Yeah, so I wanna, I wanna like look up whatever the most innocuous yet long thing Gianni has sent to me just to get some authentic Gianni message in here. <laughs> They're all so long. <laughs> I think the best uh, Aram AI TikToks are when it's like some shit Aram would never be talking about. <laughs> if it's like, you know, clothing haul from whatever. And it's, it's so funny. <laughs> when people pour the ooze. Oh. Where he talks about how good the ooze is. Oh, oh this yeah, is, that one. This is an extreme. So uh, Gianni lives in Toronto, and that's a place that Amy and I are probably moving to soon. So uh, we were like, oh, we can hang out. And he's like, oh, I'd love that. And then later was like, actually, I think we're moving somewhere else pretty soon. Sorry. I'm like, that's a bummer. But, you know, darn. And uh, I asked him some stuff about the city and I say, okay, thank you for the info. Hopefully uh, there was, we were maybe uh, this trip I just got back from, Amy and I were like, for a little bit thinking like, maybe we should meet up in Toronto and like scope out the city while we're hanging out together. Cause I'm going to be staying in a hotel with you anyway, but we didn't because then Amy would have to pay for travel too. And she's going back to school when she gets to Toronto. So she needs to save up money cause she won't be working. Uh, but I was like, Hopefully we can get this rolling and I can be with like out of, out there in like a year, meaning like 2024, because this was a couple months ago. Oh, that'd be amazing to move out next week. And Gianni says, you're a pretty spectacular person. If it's something you want, I'm sure you'll make it happen more competently than most, myself included. You'll wrap it up and be like, why did they make that such a pain in the ass? And then move on with your life. For me, it was like six chapters of my story. Thankfully now it's all just prologue. <laughs> like... <laughs> That's how Gianni talks. What a delightful fucking man. I love him so much. Oh my god. And everyone's like, oh, is that the meme guy? And I'm like, you don't understand. There's a there's a clip that like uh, Funimation posted when Tribe 9 was going that was Corpse and Gianni were like the main two focuses in the thing. And everyone was like, what meme lord fucking casting director put these two together? And I was like, they're you good. Don't, you don't understand that they're both good and they're both little sweethearts. And this is actually like the most wholesome clip you've ever heard in your life, actually. <laughs> Like, Gianni wouldn't get cast in stuff if he wasn't good, and frankly, he should be cast in more stuff. He should. He's so fucking talented. He's really good, and he's got bonkers range. I'd like to I work agree. with Corpse again, too, but Corpse is a is a hard sell unless the character is, like, perfect for him, so I'm waiting. He's also a cryptid. He is a cryptid. <laughs> I, I'll he not hear from him for weeks, and then he'll send me a, a Snapchat just being like, you okay? And I'm like, I want to die. And he's like, mood. Anyway, <laughs> I'll talk to you later. So kind of the opposite of that Gianni <laughs> interaction. Yeah, he speaks in one word Snapchats, but he's very like checking in, you know, and then I'll go, I'm bad. And he's like, checking in. And I'm like, I'm bad. But he... <laughs> He does check in. Very sweet guy. Yeah. The, um... What was it? Uh, 
says it. Words. And then meanwhile, uh, anytime anybody asks for an actress in Texas in a certain range, Vixen and I are like, you know, he should cast is Cayenne Chula King. And then, the, and then the universe is like, what if I conspired specifically to make that not work out every time? Like, like a goblin a intercepts little. the mail. Yeah, you you uh you booked Natsume's book of friends, didn't you? Yes, yes, I did a um uh, a Congrats. single episode character, but I had a really good time, and I got to use a voice I've never gotten to use before. So that Congratulations. was congratulations. <laughs> That's so good. Yeah, I I love that. Um, I am genuinely very happy because it's it's funny because it probably doesn't seem like it, but both you and Aram are doing better than I did when I was in Texas. Because like I didn't I, I didn't book anything for like two and a half years. I think it's partially because people started moving at the pandemic when remote was allowed, and then now they're down some folks, so new people time. But they've also, it also seems like they've ramped up dubbing a lot. Like, there's a lot more projects going on at one yeah. time. They're yeah, doing they, a lot of shows. they will buy any show. Mm -hmm. so, sometimes they won't look at what's in the show, and then they'll get the rights to it, and then there'll be an on-screen vagina, and they won't be able to dub it. I say yeah. sometimes. I think that only happened once, as far as I know. <laughs> Twice. Twice? Cool. But they won't buy any Magical Girls. No, nobody fucking dubs Magical Girls. I know! Uh, it's so... Unless, it, unless it's, like, Madoka-related, but Magia Record didn't deserve it. That show was not good. Since I bought, um... Tokyo Mew Mew, and was like, what if we didn't dub this, and everyone was mad forever. That's insane! Yeah, magical girls. Um, I don't know. They're not into it. I hope Tiana gets more work. She's um, she's Aramis, like the secondary main character in JoJo Part Six on Netflix. And she's the the current voice of Glinda Goodwitch in Ruby. Oh, right. I mean, really typecasting Tiana as witches since she just is one. <laughs> I don't mean that as an insult. I mean that as an aesthetic choice. Yes, very much uh, Coney oh, Island witch uh, goth aesthetic. Oh, see, I immediately think of like cutesy Halloween witch kind of aesthetic. No, I'm talking like Wiccan goth kind yeah, of. Yeah, no, no, like yeah, I, 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 have I heard you were having a bad no. time. I burned a candle in your honor. <laughs> that's cute. Yeah, she's done that for me before. I can't find any examples of Aram text to speech voice. It's out there. It is TikTok, right? I'm not crazy. I saw it. Is it is. Yeah. Um, somebody linked a gritty video that used it at one point, and that's where I heard it the first time. You'll find it when you least expect it, Chatter. You'll just be scrolling on TikTok, and suddenly Aram will appear. <laughs> Man, though, that should be more than a $2,000 paycheck. Yeah. It should probably be a yearly five-digit sum, if we're being honest. Yeah, they make so much money on those text-to-speech voices. Oh, um... At the very least, they're used for one app, and they don't sound human. They sound like they are talking like this, which, like, to me is way better than the ones that try to sound human. Anyway, uh, bringing this back specifically for Chula. Chula, why don't you guess what we currently... Amy and I are doing a very serious top 100 anime openings of all time. Why don't you guess what number 38 is? Just guess, oh. a, guess some random anime openings. It's a you show. Okay. <laughs> Chat can help. Can I help? Yeah. Is it Princess Tutu? What the fuck is your problem? Why would you do this? I, 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 <laughs> I, would, I was considering guessing that. <laughs> Chula, like, just posted favorite. about Princess Tutu. <laughs> yeah. I, it's been it's been a couple of years since since my uh, last rewatch, so I want to rewatch it again. We should watch it together, Chula. I love Princess Tutu. I would Tutu. love to. It's genuinely my favorite thing. It's good. Princess Tutu's opening is really powerful. It's a. Uh... It's understated and it's very unique. Yeah, it's it's really. A strong artistic choice gets you a lot of points mm -hmm. on our list. And also, 
That that fucking end part kind of gives me chills every time where it goes into the nutcracker or whatever that is and Yeah, yeah. she jumps over the camera and then the the camera pans up and she's got this cute little smile. It's great. Yeah. It's very cute. Doc is just a ugh, great main character. Yeah, she's also. a baby. She's someone, a baby. Someone on Twitter was like because I mentioned that I was doing this and they were like, "Oh, did you do what the like people were like recommending stuff. I'm like we're way past the submissions phase. Also, we've watched everything, so don't don't worry about it. And um, except that cool new Mashley opening, which you yeah. sent me, and I went, God fucking damn it! And I was like, sorry to give you another thing to add, and you were like, why would you fucking do this to me? And I was like, but here's Mashley's like second opening, and you were like, shit. I was like, shit, because it was really good. So I was like, I have to, now I have to figure out where this goes, and we did that today. Um. It made it pretty high. Oh, it is a, a that's opening. just a little higher than two two. It's at thirty two. Ooh. It's really where good. Where are you keeping? Uh, where are you keeping the list? Are you gonna make a video for it? I'm gonna make a thing. A... Yeah. Uh -huh. The weed list. The weed list. Because it started with Ginga and Setsu weed. Ironically, it is called the <laughs> it is called the weed anime list. Okay, I wasn't sure if I was mishearing weeb. No. <laughs> That's fair. Weed. God, Mashal <laughs> sucks. Yeah, every time we watch it, it will, like, have this the most bomb-ass, weird, fun, cool opening you've ever seen. And then it cuts to the normal shit, and we're like, it's so ugly! Because <laughs> the, the opening is animated in a completely different style. And also, the band that sings it is Creepy Nuts. My guys. <laughs> My guys. <laughs> <laughs> they also sing uh, the calling. Ca what is it? Call of the Night opening, which is the one. Oh. It's on a lot of lists. It's the one that's like fallen, fallen, ba da ba ba, and they fall. That one's really good too. So Creepy Nuts is on there twice. Uh, we haven't done this yet because we don't have a lock in yet. But I, I'm excited to do like a spreadsheet to see which studio has the highest amount of times Ooh, it's yeah. on this list, and also which singers. That's I think, I think it's just gonna be Mappa. Mappa, yeah. Mappa, yeah. really fucking. Oh, I have, I have a genuine question. Um, I know, I know that the quality of the anime overall isn't very good, but has, um, did uh, uh Kiznaiver make it onto your list? Because no, I genuinely it was, love it was considered. that opening. Um, that opening is so good. Yeah, Amy likes that one a lot. There's something, there's like two things in it that I really hated, and I was like, I'm denying that, that that one gets a veto from me. Shame. But yeah, no, it's it's definitely a good opening. I'll stretch, thank you. <clears throat> is Black Clover opening on your list? The tenth one is on there, no other ah. one. Wow. That one's pretty good. It's got Jerry Jewel going, <laughs> so. Also love Luigi Man being like, oh yeah, Weedo from that joke in Dogs in Love 1. Uh, yeah, that joke that's just for me. Yeah, I sure <laughs> did that for you. Any Naruto openings? Yo, Naruto loves to have the most bomb-ass song you've ever heard and have like kind of mid-skater music video animation. And then they're like, oh shit, openings need credits, don't they? And then they just smack them on top, zero thoughts, head empty. So um, not a lot of Naruto on there, but you know who is on there twice? Fucking Boruto, who is so much better than his dad at openings. It's a little embarrassing. <laughs> and uh, didn't think that would be the case. But also, we had to watch all of every opening you've ever heard of multiple times. Yeah, I think um, your criteria becomes so much more clear when you remind people that you're including the visuals and how the, the credits are integrated into those visuals. The credits are yeah, nasty fuckers. They they really, like, um, oh my god, what was it? The first Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood opening today dropped about 15 slots because uh, its credits are like just okay. And we were like, everything else is better. Sorry. Lamau, is there any? Yam, you're in chat. I know it's, oh, it's it's late as hell for you actually. I was about to say you should get yeah. in here, but no, go, go to sleep, hon. <laughs> Does Kaon make the list? No. 
Yam also, Yam makes a little, like, cat smelling something stinky face whenever there's a Kyo Annie opening. <laughs> What's the biggest great opening to terrible anime ratio? That's a good question, actually. We haven't watched all of these. Um, we're actually not allowed to take the quality of the opening, or of the show, into consideration. Right. I heard Sasuke fights a Velociraptor for like seven weeks in Boruto. <laughs> no, awesome. I no, I don't. Just don't <laughs> market. Let me. I say. do know. Uh, I suggested Kokoku to you guys, and I, I would not say Kokoku is like the best anime. It's not like the worst either. Um, but that OP fucks so severely compared to the show where everyone was like, "It's fine." Oh. Beastars season one opening is pretty fun. Yeah. Until you look at those credits. Oh. They're awful, dude. It it fucking hurts. You understand that, right? Like, Amy and I'll be like, we love Beastars. Oh, hang on. Every version on YouTube is the credits list version. Let's go find the credits one. I'm sure it's fine. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. And that's a that's actually a small advantage that like shit like Digimon C Frontiers English version have, because English openings don't have credits on them, so they're not a part of it, which is great. Sasuke loses to the Velociraptor. <laughs> okay, Jello, stop There's spoiling the whole list now. I've only mentioned like five. <laughs> There's like a hundred titles on there. But like unpopular opinion, I do think that uh, the the one V stars opening is uh, one of the only songs that Yoasobi makes that I think is good. But that's me. <laughs> mm, yeah, I don't know. Wise, yeah. I don't know these shows well enough to say which one is the worst one, despite getting on here. Yeah, that's the thing. There's like stuff on that list I've never even seen in my life. We tried really hard. No, I haven't. I haven't looked at the solo leveling thing. I saw that was really popular on the legitimate websites we use to look at these openings. Uh, I guess we got to look at that now, Yam. <laughs> also, Amy, go to bed. No, she's supporting you. Supporting me, like the bio lizard theme. <laughs> What the fuck did From you just say to me? <laughs> That's what it's called. <laughs> it's called supporting me. Pretty sure. Why do you know that? Well, oh, I'm sorry. Is knowing the Sonic Adventure 2 OST a weird <laughs> thing? That is not a song that I would know anyone to whip out the title of. No. It's a good song. It's a pretty good song. It's so funny. I also had to hear it on repeat because I sucked at that fight. <laughs> you got Sonic X on the list? No. No. Because you can include the Cory in the house. Um. Uh. What's um. What's the thrift shop mashup with the Sonic X opening? So like, it's only the subpar version. The superior version is not real. I have not heard that. It's called Gotta Thrift Fast in the House, and it's really fucking funny. Okay, okay, I'm gonna look this up. How about that Sonic Underground opening? Man, you have no idea how much I'd love to, like, do a best Western openings list, but, like, there literally aren't enough good ones. I, I love Spider comment in chat. Weird Sonic song. Yeah, Piff would know that. <laughs> um... I got done um, telling my own chat about the the weirdly not well known official Sonic Sex Jam song. Oh, they didn't adjust the keys. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> That's wow. my nope with mashups. <laughs> oh. Sorry, I thought that was an addition to my thing. I'm like, what? Oh, no. No, what are your... no, I was I'm listening to the I'm with you, Chula. Good. Anyway, can continue, Piff. <laughs> so Akon was on that song for, for Sonic, surprisingly. Um, and, like, whenever I bring it up, people, like, go, like, 
what are you talking about? Or like, no, that doesn't exist. And I have to bring it up and then show them the song that's talking about, um, like, loving you under the, like, open air or something like that. And you're like, this is, this is a sex jam song with Akon in the back going, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, Piff. That was me in the song. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Remix. There's a there's a song in Hamtaro Ham Ham Games, where um, I think it's a different track, but it plays at the same time. Where whenever they announce something between games on the TV slash radio, it's the same thing in that universe. Uh, there's a guy going yeah, yeah, oh, yeah really in the music, and I love him. <laughs> I played that game so much, and I don't remember it at all. You you'd remember it if you heard the music that goes along with yeah, that thing. Yeah, yeah. Guy who's likely. only seen him, Taro. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair. Chula's on my team right now. Chula and I are ham that friends. Good. It's a good. It's a good game. Okay. Unironically. <laughs> It's also like 50% Chula's fault that Hamtaro Abridged exists because we <laughs> yeah. we were watching a bunch of Sailor Moon Says things and we're like, let's try seeing if Hamtaro's dub has some stupid moments and then we were doing dumb bits. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that. That's where the dumpster line came from. <laughs> yeah. It's called Hamigos Jello Fake Hamtaro Fan. Oh, when I name a Sonic song, I am cast aside into the abyss. <laughs> but when I don't name a Hamtaro song, I'm put in the stocks for all to tomato. <laughs> you can't win. How many times am I going to get canceled this month? <laughs> oh my god, please. See, I think my favorite Hamtaro game song is the Ham Swap theme, though. I'd love to hear that get remastered or, like, remixed in some way so it doesn't sound like a Game Boy Advanced OST. You know what I mean? Yeah. Really low quality. God bless. The there was a guy who uh, used to do, like, re reimagined reorchestrations of the... Uh... Castlevania game songs, which is really good because they're fucking Game Boy sound font, and it's no good. Yeah. yeah. Ham it's swap. A shame. Ain't that the failed Homestuck video game? <laughs> Shut I'm up. Just laughing at that. To be honest, I think it's funny. <laughs> I mean, technically, they did release the second chapter. It just took a long time. I, I feel so bad for them. It seems like everything went wrong for that team. Yeah. yeah for which yeah. team? I was zoning out. Sorry. The 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 Homestuck team. The Homestuck making, video game people. Hive swap. Cause the the I haven't played the second chapter yet, but the first chapter was actually pretty damn funny. I had yeah, I liked it. I do need yeah. to play the second chapter. I I sure haven't yet. I think I bought it, but I haven't played it Thanks yet. Thanks for the super chat. Yeah, the there's actually multiple versions of the B Stars opening because one of them has credits over the. We, um, Amy and I have come to use the term uh, the D S C, which is the dreaded song credit, because it usually goes over the drop, which is usually the most visually interesting part of the song, and it's usually the worst place to put a credit. And it's the biggest credit because there must be some law in Japan where you can't separate any of that information. Song name, artist, publisher, all that shit. So it's like a big mm -hmm. brick of words. And some openings find really interesting ways to do stuff with it. But man, uh, when it's bad, it's bad. Mm. Poor Fire Force. Off the uh. list you go. Ugh. Yeah, I'm almost positive the one I like suggested didn't get on. I was like, I really like this song, and you're like, I'm doing it with more criteria than just music. I'm like, oh, that's eh, probably not gonna work out. It's kind of old. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, hey Vixen, if Mob Entertainment asked you to voice a character, would you? I've been in Mob Entertainment things already. I I voiced Purple Girl in Fazbear and Friends. <laughs> that is, I have already done that. What? Yeah. <laughs> it's, that's me. 
Uh, if they wanted me in the to be in the poppy playtime, I sure would, but they don't. So, you know, it is what it is. I'm in poppy playtime. What? No, I'm lying. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I know that about you, you piece of shit. <laughs> I would fucking know that. <laughs> you immediately. It's fun You're to lie. You're very easy to identify. <laughs> Liar. You really think Jello would do that? Go on the internet and tell lies? I'm in Poppy Playtime in so much as Poppy Playtime is a time that you can read Pop saying being prison of plastic. Pop on Pop. Flawless Whoa. execution. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a two. It's, That's it's, generous. It's when you read Hop on Pop. <laughs> Out of how many? <laughs> <laughs> Smiles mysteriously. Two, three noses? <laughs> <laughs> what would your class spec be? I don't remember. It was it was void something of void. Uh, Jello, you are. <laughs> you want some ranch for that word salad? That's pretty good. Mine was made of heart. Ah. Yeah. I had an OC who was the made of heart. <laughs> yeah. It was not an unpopular one, I won't lie. But I had an OC for, uh, there were like 12 of them, so <laughs> they I covered a lot. A few. I had a few trolls, so. Yeah, they were all trolls. Of course they were. <laughs> yeah, only trolls. I didn't have any humans. I, I had a fan adventure that, I mean, it, it never made any progress, uh, but it was a not insignificant amount of pages of setup. That's cute. I had a fan character that was like the same tier as dad and his name was man and he was just a faceless guy with a nose. <laughs> That's great, honestly. That's also not true, but that is the type of shit I would do. Yeah, no, that's, I believed it. Bro, it's lying night for Jello. <laughs> Oh my god, good job on the New York Ara Ara short. Yeah, Piff did an excellent job editing that, and then I don't know what the fuck happened. I forgot to post it until today. I, like, skipped it for the other ones, and I was like, post, post, post. Okay, I'm all caught up. And then I was like, oh, there's this one also. What the fuck? This one's so funny. How did I skip it? Good night, Amy. Good night, Amy. Good night. Amy says, okay, Homestuck is happening. Good night, gang. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I really liked, um, the, uh, Cubone one. That one is very funny. I also, I like, I like when you get to be in the TikToks, Piff. I feel like sometimes there'll be, like, a big gap where I'm like, Piff hasn't been in any of these TikToks. And then <laughs> all the ones that you're in were, like, at the same time. I'm true. I'm happy it's gone from Jello being in all of them to Jello being in none of them. <laughs> it it goes in waves. Like there'll be phases where certain people are in all the TikToks and I don't know what that's about because it's it's not correlated to like when the streams happen or like who was on the streams. It's just I don't know. Do they I go in waves. Do I see so you your spam clippers those primarily there? Hmm? Oh, are your clippers primarily on TikTok? Oh, clippers, uh, clippers VTuber term, uh, person who's, um, uh, like fans who, like, make clips of streams and such and re-upload them. Uh, no, I don't think anyone really re-uploads clips. I just pick the most popular clip from a stream and we'll turn it into a TikTok. Ah, gotcha. Um, do I see you spam those 100 emojis? Yeah. I miss hearing Jello's voice, not gonna lie. <laughs> Damn, okay. <clears throat> Alright, chat, you know what that means. Spread the Vixen agenda. I mean, yeah, feel free. Post clips places. I I would be very <laughs> appreciative of that. Dude, Jello's been dead for years. You got, make up lies about me. Chula and I met in school. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Jello and I are blood related. You wish. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. 
what? He just said we were lying. <laughs> <laughs> Val, come on. Paying attention check failed. <laughs> My I volume a, is down. <laughs> I am a trained helicopter pilot. <laughs> It, Jello, Jello does ship Dave Cat, doesn't he? That feels <laughs> weird because, oh man, I'm gonna say something that I think is gonna make people like, don't say that. So obviously, Dave is Aloha. It, it is known. <laughs> it is known. I, I do. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've stuck to home. And I didn't read anything past when the Alpha Kids showed up, and I was like, "Oh my God, there's more!" And I gave up. I do think I do think I got a little car cat going on because I'm angry all the time, but also I love love. But I'm like annoyed. I'm mad about it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You you could be a car I cat, Kenny. That. So I f don't say that. Don't say that word. Um, <laughs> you bet. So I, I feel you like me Nobody shipping Dave st Dave cat is like loaded. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Speaking of fucking Kenny, I have to tell you a funny story. I sent I sent Adrian a message today because I was I was scrolling through her Tumblr like a, a not weird person and there was there was a bunch of posts when the characters like had birthdays. Um they drew like, you know, a little birthday thing. And I came across the Seafren one. Uh Seafren is born September 1st. And so I sent a message with a screen cap and I was like, oh, we're both Virgos. Uh, that tickles me greatly. And Adrian was like, I'm also a Virgo. Remember, I am the original Safer and Kin. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, damn, defeated again. And they were like, dabs. <laughs> I am also a Virgo. <laughs> oh, yay, Virgo squad. Yay. Freaky air signs out here. Don't tell me. Honk shoe. No, but legitimately, listen, we're not blood related, but our relationship, I would say, is very sibling esque. I consider Jello like a brother, and that's why I want to kill him all the time. Sibling. 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 Aloha. I can't keep having homoerotic tension with the boys. Do you have homoerotic tension with like Brennan and the others? Cause that feels on brand for you. <laughs> Aloha, you feel like, actually Aloha and Chula have the, both have this quality. You both feel like people who would fall ass backwards into a real life harem anime. Chula confirmed already. Um, oh yeah, that happened for a while when I was in college. Hmm? It's not actually fun. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, there was like three separate dudes trying to date me at the same time. Damn. I don't know why to this day. I feel like I was at the time, at the very least, very low on the totem pole. So more like maybe it was just, ah, this is someone who is achievable. <laughs> Bro, who fucking knows what boys are thinking? Because I had more boys asking me out when I considered myself to be like, in my least attractive phase of life. And now that I'm like, man, I've worked on myself. I look great. I have no prospects. I'm just like, damn, what happened? How does that work? I'm really popular with the, um, the, the type of girl that's super into me. Amy doesn't fall into this, but the type of girl that like asks me out is auditioned for the stage play and didn't get it and is now in high school crew. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. That's the that's happened 5 times. <laughs> that's the demo. It's not a demo I like if I'm being honest. Every boy that has ever asked me out was either like a turbo nerd or um like the exact opposite, like dude who goes to bars and has no common interests with me. And I'm like, why? What What the fuck could you possibly be? What, what would you think we'd do together, man? <laughs> You're really pretty. Uh, thanks. That is true. Oh, thanks. <laughs> but what would we do together? <laughs> yeah. If a gross boy asks you out, just lift your arms and be like, check out my Frankenstein scars. Ah, <laughs> check out my scars, idiot. Get out of here. <laughs> Ch 
Jello being crushed on by theater girls is on brand? No. I get crushed on by crew girls. It's a different tier. Well, I'm a little offended. Sorry. <laughs> in in my school at least, different tier of person. <laughs> very, very different guy. Though you you did you did confess to me once, Chula, like yes, seven hundred. That's, that's exactly years ago. what I was yeah, I was You are you are ago. the least of that type <laughs> that I've ever had asked me out. Because you are more of an actress than a, a stage ninja. But when you asked me out, three other people that year. And I was like, what's going on? Stop it. <laughs> that would have been a very, like, a very weird vibe if we dated. Yeah, that's reasonable. I am also very, very happy with my uh, boyfriend now. Yeah, oh, I'm good. You're living your best life. I'm Oh yeah. I'm so happy for you in general, Chula, because for like a long time you were like one of you were like misery friend, like nothing good oh, ever happened God. to you and we'd be like, "What's up?" and you'd be like, "My roommate ate my car." And I'd be like, "What do you mean?" <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm I'm doing a lot better. I like I'm definitely in a roommate situation where I'm also very happy with. So, good, good. Oh. Things, things are settled. Yeah. One of those, one of those things that happens. I think uh, everybody's like, Ugh, I want to stop being an adult now. But I would never go back to even my early twenties. I'm so much better being like late twenties. I kind of want roommates again. How you going, Chula? I was swallowed by a whale. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> Basically. Did you put? I was swallowed by a whale, but at least I don't have to deal with my fucking roommates for a little while. <laughs> Bro, this old room, this old dude just became my roommate and he won't shut up about his puppet son. <laughs> I'm so tired of this. Oh Chula my god. Uh, correct read. Chula feels like they have a fun answer to this. Who's your favorite Vocaloid opens the can of worms? Yuzuki Yukari. <laughs> She's not used very often anymore, though, so I don't get to hear. Um, and when she is used, it's mostly like metal songs, which I'm not into. So, do you know? Do you not know who Yukari is? How dare you? Never in my fucking life, Chula, have I heard of the Vocaloid. Um, she's the purple. She's the purple one with the bunny ear hoodie. Um, and she has like a lower, she has a lower, more, well, lower in quotations, more, um, a uh, calming kind of sound. And I actually think she sounds best in folk songs, but you don't hear her used for that very much. Hmm. Je yeah. Jello, who's yours? Gakpo. <laughs> Gakpo. He's the uh, really? Waluigi of vocal. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a very basic bitch answer, it's Len. And it's just because I have more Len songs that I like than any other Vocaloid, aside from Miku. Gagpo has one song I know of and it's bad. <laughs> so he's my favorite. <laughs> he's your favorite. Uh, I, I just, I... Similar to how I figured out my favorite evolution, where I was just like, I transferred in all of my evolutions from every game, and turns out three of them are Vaporeon, so I guess it's Vaporeon. Um, <laughs> I picked my favorite Vocaloid in a similar way, where I was just like, oh, I have a lot of Len songs, I guess it's Len. Wow, this, uh, this middle part is all just hand. Yep. All right. Yep. Hand is still happening. I am occasionally reminded, oh, Chula was in this too, that I did that fucking welcome to fan fiction bit. Oh yeah. With the <laughs> Gakpo X Len Yaoi section. Not only did you do that, but the character's name in that section is Marissa. So when I watched <laughs> it, when I watched it before I knew you, it was a deeply unsettling situation of like, I never hear my name used as like a generic female name. And I'm just like, what the fuck? Me watching Food Network. <laughs> <laughs> it's still crazy to me that pe like, apparently it's a huge difficulty for people to spell your, like say your name based on how it's written. 
all of the time people get it wrong, but for the first time and for, what, what was it? Like the other day, um, when I was at the DMV, somebody randomly got it right and I was baffled. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what? I will say, um, I'm so used to people saying my last name wrong that I don't correct them because who cares? Uh, mm -hmm. And it's a really uncommon last name. Mm -hmm. But I will say, French people always say it right. Hmm. Huh. What? I think just because the way the vowels are said, it's just like, those are some French-ass sounds. Bleh, bleh. <laughs> I'm like, that's right. Blaber is hard. It's you get. I get blabber every time, every single time. Mm. I could see where people would get that from. Like, though. yeah, like mine's not a normal name, but like Cayenne to me is a kind of a normal name. Like, it's not common, but I'd see it and be like, oh, words. Yeah, it's just usually when you hear it, it's uh, it's spelled differently is uh, the most common comment I do get. But, I am very great, I do like my name. It's a pretty name. Mm -hmm. Brendan Blabber would be some apologized. fascinating nominative determinism though. Shut the fuck up, Flutter. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Aloha. My full name in etymology, in circles where I don't, it's not etymology, is it? Uh, not for names. Um, my full name apparently means talks a lot stinky hair, so put that in your <laughs> pipe and smoke it. <laughs> where did you hear that? I don't remember, I looked it up once. My name means go slowly from the sea. My name's fucking made up. I don't know. <laughs> that, that is true. If you, if you go fast, Marissa freaks out in a car. You drive like an insane person, and I'm not <laughs> weird for uh, putting my hand on the dashboard like your mom. No, you you drive real slow. Yeah, you drive I'm a safe plenty. driver. I do drive Lenty, yeah. I've never been in an accidenty, Lenty. I'm a good driver. I get place fast. I need him. Scary. <laughs> I get place fast. I go in the fast lane. An accident? I have been in an accident, but it was because I was being tailgated by this lady and I slammed on the brakes for a squee-well because I didn't want to kill him, and then she hit me. And uh, I was still learning how to drive, and I was using my brother's car, so I was really upset that I was like, my brother's going to be so mad at his car. And my mom was like, don't worry, we'll get it fixed, and he'll never know. And then she went over to the lady, and she was like, good job, you fucking idiot. Why were you tailgating my daughter? Because she was driving so slowly. But I Ooh, saved yeah. the squirrel's life. I got rear-ended in a hit and run twice in one year. Oh my god. And this and the, the second time still hasn't been fixed because it's gonna be a thousand dollars to fix because we didn't catch their license plate this time and couldn't report them. Oh. Are there power washer novels that can tackle a wider area? Yes, but this is advanced dirt, so if I'm not using this nozzle, then I have to like go this slow. Yeah, if you use the big nozzle, it barely takes the dirt off. If you yeah. use the small nozzle, it takes the dirt off, but in a very, you know, small area. So I'm kind of going for inaccurate. And uh, if you get enough of it down, you don't on a big enough surface, and this is a really big surface, you actually don't need to get that much of it. So I have not been in an accident, but I have been in close a few times and it was basically never my fault there was one time where I was just driving down like an intersection and the other person had like a stop sign and they pulled in basically into the middle of the road and then stopped and I had to swerve around them oh. Jesus um, 
Oh, why did it? Oh, I'm glad someone mentioned that. That's a bummer. Mm -hmm. um, That's true. I was using the bitch baby nozzle from the start of the game, which I believe Lenti has to use. Yeah. Oh, buddy, look. All right. I didn't switch it to that. You know what happened? I joined your game, so it switched me back to the bitch shit. Mm, sorry. Um, I think the most insane one was I was... If if for every reason you visit uh, Glass at her, her place, just be careful of the drivers around there. Because they're just straight up insane. Um, Some places I, just have crazy drivers. We live in uh, Los Angeles. Oh my god. They're just idiots. So, I, w I stopped at a stop sign, a stoplight, and like, there's like, alright, there's nothing, like, there's no, uh, traffic this way this is just like a stop and make sure that like you can turn right i was about to turn right until i noticed the car on the other hand uh, also had a, a red light turn left into traffic almost fucking hit me and like went through and i'm like what sort of insane person goes oh there's cars on all sides of me moving what if i pulled left through all of it <laughs> with a freaking red light. <laughs> we were actually, um, speaking of driving near Glass's place, um, I think when I move in with Amy, she's gonna fly out here, and then we're gonna do, like, a big, probably multi-week road trip to visit our friends, because she doesn't... She hasn't met most people in person. And, uh, she was like, oh... And we did, we were like, can we visit Piff? And I was like, like, I'll look. And I looked at the map and I'm like, probably not, but maybe. If, if you're, if you're visiting Jay, we're not that far away. <laughs> I don't think we were planning on it. Um, okay. It's, we would have to go like four days out of our way to, yeah. to like, go from, because we're going to swing by Dallas at least. And we're probably going to yeah. swing by Aloha. Um, because it's not that far off the path. That would be, like, an extra ten hours, I think. But we probably can't visit Will, and I don't think we can visit anyone East Coast, because Toronto's not that far east. It's pretty close to New York, though, which I immediately looked up. I was like, when will I see my friends again? When will my friends come home from war? And I was like, oh, when I'm in New York, you guys are, like, a two-hour plane ride away. Are you living in New York fully now? No, I I just am there a lot to ah, see family. Fair. I could see myself going back though. I miss my family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you're in, if you're around New York, uh, you're very close to Jay. You'd probably be a few hours from me, and a few yeah, hours but it's from like. Us. It's like it's like coming from the opposite direction is the problem. If they're coming from the other side of the country, then New York is like an extra little dinghy. Whereas if you're coming from New York to Toronto, it's short, but it's a. I'm talking about a flight, not a drive. It's a decent. Yeah, it's, drive it's a flight. Yeah. 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 It's tough because there's only like two or three spots you can get across the lake on a car. Yeah. You guys should go to the Bass Pro Pyramid. Sure, Aloha. <laughs> yeah, but we're definitely going to swing by Dallas, Chula, if you want to hang out. Yes, I would like to. Obviously, it would depend on the day or time. Well, you know, I could probably ask for it off. If it yeah, could. we're, we're going to be there for more than one day, I'm pretty sure. Mm-hmm. Great. But it would be nice. How does it feel to be weak? <laughs> I don't even know <laughs> who is Aloha responding to. Also, it feels bad. It feels not amazing. I, I had a horrible back, and I was like, man, I can't, like, move. Girl, yeah, how's that God. doing? Uh, it's doing way better now. It is, oh, like, good. Um, I think I had a twinge yesterday in comparison to day one, which was just constant and was like so much in pain that I had a hard time like talking straight because it sounded like I was constipated by how much pain I was going through. What part mm. of your back is in pain? So sorry. Um, 
the thing that is just above the pelvis bone okay. and just below the rib cage on the left side back. Okay, never mind. I, I, I just I have chronic back issues also, so I was I just went to a physical therapist for a different part of my back, but I was like, oh, maybe it'll be the same one. No. No, it's it was weird. Like it came out of nowhere and it disappeared, and it doesn't seem to be a part of anything that anyone has ever guessed. So, <laughs> eh, better now. Shout outs to back problems. I loved not being able to fucking move this time last year. Shout outs to back problems. Keeping it real, 1963. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's like, yeah, do like a hot bath. I'm like, oh, that sounds great. And then I like was a like getting ready to do that and i'm like no this is actually a horrible idea yeah, you get trapped I, I don't think i could like balance myself properly to not immediately beef it on this like slicked surface that, <laughs> that is going to be the bathtub i i don't want to be in that position so i was like i'll just take a shower it's fine <laughs> i don't Same like thing. bathtubs I have so many bath bombs. I love baths. Me too. That's cause, that's cause you guys are fucking small. Yeah, we're that's true. normal sized small human privilege. beings. That's true. Chula's small. <laughs> yeah, Chula is small. I'm I'm normal sized. Jello is gigantic. My my previous apartment had like a really big, like two person bathtub, and I do miss not having that. Um, because we no, because now I have the smallest bathtub that uh, I've ever had, and I am the only person that can fit in that bitch. My previous house had cowboy doors in front of the toilet. <laughs> I forgot! And the tiniest bathtub in the world. Which I At that didn't... point, it might as well be useless. Yeah, it's a bathtub. <laughs> They're all like that when you're 6'5". They're all just a thing that accumulates Fair. fucking dust. Fair. What the fuck do you mean? Like your legs and head were exposed when you pissed? I mean, I lived in Texas and there was a fucking saloon door in front of the toilet. I, I'm i not not explaining it well. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> yeah, you had like a, if I remember correctly, like a couch next to it. So people could like... You. <laughs> what? Like like a cuck chair? What are you talking about? <laughs> Piff's just lying. <laughs> yeah, I am. It was a reference to the like Zillow video. I, I got it. Oh, okay, okay. I got it. I just chose violence to not react and let other people get confused. It's too you just funny. Just let me to say lie. some insane shit. I used to do that a lot in high school because like. You'll be surprised by this, but I was the dad friend because responsibility and mm -hmm. uh, like people would not know shit because they were stupid teenagers. And like one in every five times someone asked like what I considered a dumb question instead of explaining it, I would just make something up. But in the <laughs> voice I always explain things in and they'd be like, wow, really? And I'd go, no. <laughs> <laughs> Fucker. So, no, I'm every bad. once in a while that I do that, but like, it's so rare. <laughs> How close to I'm the door so was the bad. toilet? I didn't use that. I didn't use the cowboy toilet for reasons I hope are obvious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There was another. I showered in one bathroom and shat in the other because one shower was bad. Uh, yeah, one shower was really bad, and the other toy, the cowboy toilet exploded the first time I used it. So I was like, okay, goodbye, cowboy toilet. Oh my god. Two bathrooms? Yeah, it was a house. <laughs> what decadence? I live in a shitty apartment, and I have two bathrooms. Oh, obviously, this is the distal finger flanks. Obviously. Thanks you know the ones. Thanks for the labels. 
she distal my finger until I flanks. What? <laughs> that wasn't funny, but Chula's reaction kind of made it funny. <laughs> yeah, Chula's reaction is <laughs> excellent. There we go. We're starting to finish things. What are we power washing? A big fucking hand in the middle of the desert. Big fucking hand. How did it get here? It's part of that statue that we were working on two levels ago. Your right hand comes off. <laughs> oh my god, it comes off? I'll Whoa. kill you! <laughs> <laughs> Game over. Restart. Restart. To restart. <laughs> I loved you sending that to me, being like, "Is this your energy? I can't quite tell." <laughs> and like, I was like, mm. "You, you like sad, wet men that you can put in a collar." But like, I think, I think the internet version of Leon S. Kennedy likes it too much and is a little too into it so yeah yeah you're like no no thanks no thanks i'm here to hurt the boy <laughs> does this game have lore the writing is terrible so i ignore it every time someone texts me there's writing yeah, yeah there's like characters that'll text you i think the the lore is that a big fucking volcano went off and that's why there's like soot all over every fucking thing. I don't know. The, uh, the mayor see. was like, I lost my cat, but also I'm doing some kind of environmental crime. And I'm like, everyone talks like an idiot. Also, we're on Mars, so I'm not. This feels like one of those games that just wouldn't have any writing. Do I have it? I didn't. Jello, you weren't crazy about Molly McGee season one, but do you have any thoughts on season two? I didn't. I didn't watch it because I didn't like the first season. Yeah, I know this sounds crazy, especially coming from me, the Dokapon guy, but I don't. I also, never ever call me that. <laughs> yeah, um, I was like, what? <laughs> but uh, I'm. I don't like continuing to engage with things I hate if I think they're boring. I only do it if there's, like, a lesson to be learned for future generations. <laughs> I forced myself to watch so much Sailor Moon. <laughs> I, I should have given it up sooner. <laughs> My family likes to call you the Lemonade Man. I'll take that. I was seeing Amy's parents who speak in an accent that I cannot replicate with my mouth. And they were like, <laughs> you want any beer? I was like, no, I don't drink, I'm boring. And Amy was like, he drinks lemonade. And they're like, yeah? I'm like, yeah, I try lemonade. And they were like, oh really? And I was like, yeah, and I was like about, I started like describing that I drink a lot of lemonade. I'm like, this isn't interesting. I just drink <laughs> a lot of lemonade. <laughs> you know Let me tell you the story. Well, hey, Aloha. People, people would love if you drank a lot of milk on stream. Would you stop? <laughs> <laughs> get, get it, get out of here, get, get, <laughs> grab the broom. <laughs> I, no. I, I take my little hobo bindle. I look back sadly. <laughs> no! Look back sadly, crying tears of milk. <laughs> he hates me. That fucking murder animals comic of just like, Dad, do you love me? That's a stupid question. Of course I love him. He's my son. <laughs> he hates me! <laughs> I love that. I love that artist so much. That was like my dad for real. You're hated. They hate you. You're hated. <laughs> Cries. Fucking uh, that reminded me of that meme, but it's just like, oh, why did why did you guys name my sister Mercedes? And it's because your mom loves Mercedes. And it's like, wow, that's crazy. Yes, that's fine. Bomberman Jetter's opening. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
I think of Jello as the LGBT cr found family crime guy. <laughs> That's fair. That's pretty good. I, I just like, I'm just punk. That's all there is to it. Baby. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> what? You're a punk ass. Oh. Right. I'm punk. I'm punk. I scream, crying and shitting <laughs> on the sidewalk. You. It's what you pay your taxes, nerd. Pub. Bro, I. If I didn't pay my taxes with the amount of taxes I have to fucking pay, I'd be in like a lot of trouble. <laughs> Send him to jail and have his dick flattened. I'm trying to figure oh. out how to deal with write-offs for the first time. Oh, it's easy. If it's anything you can... Anytime you have dinner with a friend who's even kind of in your industry, you keep that and go, this was a business lunch. And yeah, anything... but you had an accountant and I don't. I mean, I'm going to be honest. I don't really think he does that much work. Uh, cause I have to assemble the list of all my stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's know. like, that's like the hardest part. Yeah, I my, do that yeah, too. My, fair. my dad actually dissuaded me away from doing business lunch every time I eat with a friend. He's like, uh, this looks sus at a certain point. You need to stop. I was like, okay. Well, I only have like three friends, so that's cool. Well, you're different. You're just built <laughs> different. I'm, I'm too punk. <laughs> <laughs> He was like, try and only write it off as a business meal if you're like at an event. So like when I'm at a con, I write all those off, you know. Um, but he's like, he's like, if you're just going out on the town and having lunch with another actor friend, he was like, no, don't do that. That's too much. Yeah, I spent like two thousand dollars on a new microphone and preamp this year, so I was really hoping to get a write off for that. But I haven't been able to find where to input those kinds of expenses on the uh, the thingy on the app. Yeah, <laughs> punk, more like punk. Oh my god. god Jello, god. name one song you think is a punk song. Um, punk isn't just a musical genre. Figure your shit out. <laughs> Down. Punk is a way of life. Punk is a, a way, way of life. <laughs> Jello's built different. Lonely. <laughs> <laughs> Jello's built different. Victorian boy immune system. You'd blow up if you ate a Dorito. That's me. He's not built. Of. He's not built lonely though. He's built doesn't want to talk to you. Oh, <laughs> that's true. That sounds pers- I, 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 I never have a problem talking to Jello. That's because you are a delightful person to get a DM from, Aloha. Damn. Yeah, Com but- Complimenting me, I thought you were just like- Cause, cause you work for him, he has to respond. <laughs> no, go fuck yourself, I'm complimenting you. Yeah, sorry Aloha, despite your- despite your- the energy you try to project, you're extremely sweet. Get complimented, fucker. Fucker. We were just you calling deserve? you our little brother the other day. I, I know, I was uh, listening to the stream when you guys were doing that. Yeah. It's because even though Lenti is older than me, we definitely have oldest sibling, middle sibling, youngest sibling dynamic. That's true, yeah. I somehow have become the middle sibling despite being the oldest. It's because Jello's okay. mean. That's true, pretty much. Thank yeah. you for the $20 super chat. I'm at work right now. This stream has made, made the shift go by much faster. Thank you for the stream. I'm glad you're giving us your hourly pay for uh, <laughs> the stream yeah, oh, as compensation. $20, man. Was it worth it? That sounds It Was it worth it? I appreciate it. I, is, I don't know why I'm roasting you for giving me money, but thank you. We do this every time. <laughs> every time. Yeah. I just feel I bad. It's not punk to take people's money. True. Shut up, Jello. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I'm like not joking though. <laughs> I'm just doing it in the whitest, milk toastest suburban boy <laughs> voice I can. <laughs> so your normal voice? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've done. I've done crimes. Y'all don't know me. I, I like. I. I think everyone has done crimes before. I don't think crimes is like, you know, I, I know you, you're fucking bubble water. <laughs> uh, yeah, the bubble water I steal. <laughs> yeah. I got a whole system worked out, fighting back against the system. 
Uh, teacher, teacher, Jello is admitting to crimes on stream. Get him. <laughs> Are you a cop? Teacher, teacher. <laughs> that, that's like top three things I've ever dissed you with. <laughs> what was the exact full exchange there again? Oh, I don't remember. It's like, it's like after like twice, because it was we were like doing bits coming off of the um, Coliseum videos where it's like, who's the sexiest Pokemon? Caesar, obviously, just like fucking around. And every time, oh, right. every uh, time so... Lenti would be like, it's Lucario because you're thinking about furry stuff. But like you would answer very readily and very sincerely. And it happened two or three separate times on different occasions. And then the fourth time someone in chat brought it up, uh, and it was like, what's the sexiest Pokemon? And I was like, well, Lenti has a suggestion. And you were like, shut up. And I was like, teacher, teacher, I know the answer. It's Lucario. Lucario's the sexiest Pokemon. We were talking about, like, the hottest or, like, most, like, sexed up Pokemon of each type. And everyone kept suggesting th uh, things other than Lucario for steel, and I was getting very frustrated because I was like, "It's obviously Lucario." You're so carnally frustrated. <laughs> no. Take the shot. I'm I'm not Axu three one four nine. I was the Lucario person. Oh, this was a long time ago. Oh, uh, I. Fucking <laughs> remember the person who got really fucking upset about us not calling the Reggies sexy? That person was crazy. <laughs> they were either crazy or they were trolling. I still don't believe. I think them. they were drunk as hell and they left a comment later that's like, "Sorry, I was zooted out of my mind. I don't know what was happening." But then they said they stood by it. <laughs> They were like, I would still fuck Regice. And I'm like, no, you wouldn't. Regice would kill you instantly. What are you talking about? That is not a friend. Also, if you pick a if you pick a Reggie to bang, it's gotta be Registeel. The fingers. Look at them. Does it gotta be? What's your suggestion? Friend? We're not having this con we're we're having a good monetized stream right now and oh, I need fine, this. Fine, fine, fine. Listen, okay, I'll I'm just gonna say three things, okay? <laughs> just I'm just gonna say forty more things on the <laughs> subject. I'm gonna say three words, alright? Reggie Gigas slow start. That is a negative, but okay. Also that was two it. things? No, it was three I, words. You said, okay, all right. I said three words. I assumed thing was like three separate bullet points, not three words. Oh, you assumed wrong, fucko, die. Down. I'm so glad I I'm having a pleasant time. he actually friends. died. Oh. Rest in pieces. Punks Jello, you never can't really die. die. You have to buy me more milkshake. Did that? Stream get monet? No, the last power watch stream didn't get uh, got demonetized, but not because of the fucking words, but because of music. Uh <laughs> People love to upload hours of music and be like, "It's copyright free," and lie to your goddamn face and lie. Yeah, I remember a time where like somebody's like, "Yeah, what's like a what's a royalty free kind of like uh kinda like Christian vibe thing?" And that was me. Immediately. <laughs> Somebody uploaded like a parody of like I can't remember what song it was like by a, a rapper specifically talking about like just horrible things that he's going to do to women. Um and I'm like, this is a strange thing to parody as a Christian thing. <laughs> And I like immediately pointed it out, and everyone's like, "Wow, well, you're right." <laughs> I Someone don't think we can use this. I think I so eventually just went with some Gregorian chanting. Mm -hmm. Kevin McLe uh, Kevin McLeod for the win, dude. Kevin McLeod is great, but also it's just you hear the same five Kevin McLeod songs in every single video. 
But aren't there like actually there. old songs like Ave Maria and shit like that you could use that are? Yeah, you'd, uh, you'd fucking think you'd say, that, you'd, wouldn't you'd you? You'd think that, yeah. It's... The problem is the recordings are also yeah. like someone's uh, performance, so yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, that's like when I used the Nutcracker Suite for my Animal Crossing stream and like a bunch of it got muted. Yeah. Or like when we played Coffee Talk and they were like, oops, the whole soundtrack is copyrighted. copyrighted. And it's like, fuck you guys. Man, I'm so glad this to-do list popped up. I sure oh. know where distal finger phalanges are. I literally pointed this out before. Yeah! I know. Oh, yeah. I know you did. When I'm she pretty sure distal... it's on the bottom of the hand. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like, uh, um, in the relative area that, uh, Vixen's in. Um, uh, since, uh, Vixen's here, uh, so I got three keys for uh escape room sim from the devs oh uh because they were like hey you want keys and i was like sure and i was like uh it was like oh you amy and jello have done escape rooms before right yeah we've yeah, done one like, yeah so and we did uh, the best guys... ever at it we were really good we were a good so, team yeah, i got free keys for you and also the new dlc and shit uh, if you guys wanted to do that at some point, so yeah, it sounds like fun. Where the fuck yeah. is this webbing problem? It, it, like, it's this, I think. It's, it's this one. It's this thing. I just don't see anything on it. Maybe it's on the edge. Oh, you got it. Great, fun, fun game. Wow. Which the DLCs didn't cost so much. Well, uh, there's a free Among Us DLC for it, so you know. Good shit. And. Hand. Did you want to do another level, Jello? I got another one in me, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try backing out and seeing if I can buy shit real quick, and then I'm gonna come back in. Okay. Cause, man, I sure don't have anything. Bro, it's time to clean the fishing boat. New escape, escape sim DLC is Harry Potter themed. It's it's magic themed, okay? Like I. Like, yeah, it's like Harry Potter has such a, like, grip on that, like, kind of genre. It's like saying every sci-fi thing is like Star Wars, you know? No, yeah, like, I have all these nozzles and soaps and you shit, just, and you don't get to use I'm not allowed to use them. Thing. Yeah. They wouldn't want you to cheese through the game too fast if you had a friend. All right, invite me back in, please. No. Nope. You must grind. I've never done an escape room before. I don't, I don't have friends. Would be surprised if they had any out by you. I mean, there's probably some in like Nashville or Memphis. Like, uh, what do I press again to get in the thing? All right, I have to cook dinner because I still haven't done that, and you probably don't want to hear cooking noises, so I'm it's gonna pop off. Now. It's three in the morning, Jula. Yes, but I got off of work two hours ago, and I don't go to bed for another three hours. All right, well, have a good dinner. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out. Good I'll... night. Yeah, nice what? hanging out with you. I'll let you know if pizza game is in the cards. Yes. Oh Please. yeah. Bye. So I should get up and get drink. What do you think KM stands for? Kim Kill me. Impossible. Kill me. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Shake kids, hands. Kids, can you lighten up a bit? <laughs> no. Uh, I heard you guys earlier in the stream, so... So what? So you're setting a bad example for me. What did I say? You're wrong. I learned it from you. <laughs> Play it back. I learned uh, it from you! You said, I w would kill myself. That's what you said. I don't it's think true. that's true. I think you're lying. <laughs> Have any of you played Played Up? I don't think any of us would enjoy Played Up. <laughs> I, I think Jello would get too mad, and I feel like Vixen would get too stressed. <laughs> yep, that sounds like me. Yeah. And I would also be mean to it. <laughs> yeah, fuck it up, Piff. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know, like, I feel like your tolerance for a lot of games is, like, stronger than most people, so. I have, I have seen Piff get angry at games. It's yeah. not common, but it does happen. Yes. 
I've been getting better at it. I've I've noticed sometimes that I'm like, this is unreasonable amount of anger. And sometimes I'm just like, hey, I'm not doing well, and I'm like tanking it out randomly on like the game. Be like, this is stupid, it needs to be easier so I can win more. I don't need that in my life. <laughs> You all played Overcooked? I haven't played any video games. It's it's like played up. It's like one of those like stressful like. I can't. Games. I hate yeah. stressful co-op games. They are not fun for me. <laughs> you are real easy to stress out with. Like, yeah, games. tell me about it. I'm like a fucking animal in an enclosure, and if if mm -hmm. there's point zero percent not enough substrate, I fucking eat my own leg off. Bro, that's a fish reference. Yeah. So cool. Including the leg part. Yeah. As, as we all know about fish. We've been playing uh, this game called Pacific Drive. It's got a fucking neat ass vibe to it. What do you do in it? Drive. Uh, you drive around. It's like a post apocalyptic, like, survival esque game. But you're in a car that's fitted out with, like, techno gadgets and your job is to go around these anomaly filled areas gather scrap and stuff and then like get the fuck out to upgrade your car and stuff and there's like story and shit and it, it's got really good atmosphere and really good vibes to it nice yeah like I, I, I don't care much for like survival games and it's really cool which is a good sign because yeah, I normally was like, even if it's cool, I'm like, eh, it sucks ass. And I'm like, I'm like a solid like seven or six out of ten on it, so that must mean it's a good game. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Vixen is a bacteria in a lab. Piff is bacteria in the wild. Where's my bio nerds at? I love it when people just say random shit. <laughs> <laughs> I think the most taken care of I have felt recently was I said something innocuous in the flavor of like, I'm gonna fucking kill myself. And Jello gave me a head pat and said, let's keep those brains in that head. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, damn. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you call a 10 out of 10 game and why is it Desert Bus? I fucking hate Desert Bus. <laughs> uh, I only do it every new year because I hate myself. Hey, kids. Can you lighten <laughs> up? <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Jello. You, you, yeah. You, that's yeah, the Jello. I don't know. You, you tell me to lighten up. I had a visceral response where I'm like, no, I won't lighten up. Just you to wouldn't show say you. that to Piff. <laughs> no, because Piff is Piff. That's our little brother for you. He tells you to fucking kill yourself. We're a, no, I don't say that. We're a, we're a trio of obnoxious siblings, and Piff is like the really cool kid from next door. Yeah, Piff's got Piff big has, next door neighbor energy. Piff has. Uh, I would never insult Piff. He has all the cool games. Piff yeah, has exactly. the Piff has the vibe of like. Piff is friends with your older sibling, and he's your older sibling's age, but he like treats you like an equal even though you're like Dude, five years apart mm -hmm. my brother would have friends come over and they were honestly some of the coolest guys ever really and why were they friends with your brother i think they pitied my brother oh and were just being like really nice but then they just started coming over to hang out with me and i was like yeah i mean i got friends you are cool as hell so that does track yeah so that, we all... that is... Go ahead. No. Oh, okay. Uh, that is wild. I actually... Like, my closest friends from, like, first grade to basically when I started going off to college was my neighbors. Like, See? we would just walk over to each other's houses and play video games. <laughs> We've got your vibe down uh, pat. I... Wish I lived in a place where it was like I had neighbors that I could like actually hang out with. Because, I used like, to I live, live across the street from my cousin, which was the tightest shit ever for the time that it lasted because that's a built in mm -hmm. friend. Yeah, like I I lived in the middle of like a giant cornfield, so there was no like walking to a friend's place. 
and it's just like i would be like i would always go like i'm gonna oh my god my my family would be like okay you can finally go to this your friend's birthday party and i'm like cool and then it would like snow or something and i wouldn't be able to go because the roads would be too bad and i'd be like oh man i kick rock oh kicking yeah. rock is the number one thing people do out there for recreation number yeah, I mean, number two behind like meth I yeah. can't think about sad baby aloha that that that's not I, dude it's so fucking funny to me because I I like I start saying shit and then everyone goes oh and I'm like what and it's just like aloha that's really sad and I'm like oh yeah I guess it is <laughs> Bro, you love it when you're telling a funny story and everyone looks at you and stops <laughs> and, because it's traumatic, actually. <laughs> no. Jello's gonna come here with Amy and then it's gonna be like, okay, what do you want to do? And there's gonna be nothing. Dude, be, I've, like... I've been to places like where you live. I'm, I'm not... I have no illusions of what it's gonna be so like, like, but I want to hang out with you, so... I, yeah... It's the, it's the thing of like there's I, negative bro there's I, nothing where are we gonna, we're gonna I went go to out I went to school for four years in downstate Illinois Damn. where there's fucking nothing Flair will tell you the same except Flair will pretend that Chicago makes up for it you wanna look at a cracked bell <laughs> got one of those around love crack you're gonna love this bell. There's good boba shops here. Boba wasn't a thing when I went to school. Yeah, Urbana sucks shit. It sure does. Well, you got your name from people in mass not knowing anything about you as a person. You have sad stories. Yeah. I mean, like, like man, I, I just didn't talk a lot. So I just never, like, is, and then people. Sorry, someone asked, mm -hmm. is my controller drifting? Yeah, it's really bad. Hey, Piff, Damn. do you know what button I press to just make my nozzle go horizontal or vertical? Uh, ooh, let's see. It's F, L maybe? on controller. It's not F. Uh, let's see, there's R. Oh, I got it. I don't know which one I pressed, but it. I got it. Thank you. Okay. R. Got it. Got it. What do you mean, Jello? There's Casey's and Dollar General everywhere. There's never nothing in Illinois. Illinois also has a lot of meth towns. It's just what happens when people are like, oh, there's nothing here. Yeah. We used to, we had a family, like, rec center that had, like, uh, mini golf and, like, go karting. And that lasted for a year before it shut down. Yeah, that makes sense. And I, I never got to go. Oh. We have a, we have a rollerblade rink. Uh, there is a bowling alley somewhere. I don't That's know if it's nice. still open. But it, it's probably they're still there. Our local bowling alley has been turned into a church. God bless. Yes. Yo, that's what... Yo, we can go to church. Wow. There's like 20 million. Maybe we I, can't swing by Aloha's place. I, no. I cannot picture Jello in a fucking church. <laughs> I think he would explode. I got confirmed. Confirmed for punk. <laughs> I'm gonna press X to doubt. I think you're lying. We talked about this. My confirmation name is Leo. It's my no. It's my sister who got banned from church. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I, I bring a... I bring that asking basic questions that any child would ask vibe to Sunday school that the Sunday school teachers really don't like. Damn. Like, not even in a, I don't believe logic. that kind of way. Like, literally, like, that's a really cool story. How did this happen? And they'd be like, how dare you question? I'm like, I just want to get involved in the lore. <laughs> the lore? I was the kid that was like, I'm going to debate bro you. And luckily my Sunday school teacher was like cool about it. He was, he like stopped me after class once and he was like, you know, I don't mind that you debate bro me. It's fine. Um, he was like, but we can't spend so much time on it every class. And I'm like, I don't know. You're answering me. I, I'm just, I'm doing what I'm going to do. Learning. Yeah. I was an obnoxious little kid. I I kept being put in those situations of just like let's go to church and then put I'd be like okay and then like it's 
just like sit in this horrible pew that has like no cushioning it hey. is just wood hey that's unfair sometimes you get to kneel and it's really uncomfortable <laughs> no we never kneel. you have to stand up and sit down a whole bunch <laughs> square thank you for all of those bits that's so nice of you thank you so Excellent. much i hope you enjoy the bits emotes wait you're wait, you're giving bits over there where's my money huh <laughs> where's, where's oh? my money Aloha was don't DM yell at me. my chatters he was like <laughs> He was like, I'm looking at how much money the channel's earning this month. It's not great. I'm upset. I know he did. He's, he's like a goldfish. I gotta walk over and <laughs> feed him some gold flakes every once in a while. <laughs> it's, it's extremely mean. Aloha was so kind to me the last two weeks. We're Love to get an Aloha life. DM that just says, How you doing, King? Aloha d didn't DM me because he correctly was like, I bet if I ask Jello how things are going, that'll like put his mind in a state where he's like, Oh, are things bad? So instead, he DM'd my girlfriend I was staying with and was like, Be good to him. Is he having a good time? Is he okay? Is he eating enough? Cute. And Amy was like, Aloha's really nice. He's asking after you. And I'm like, he's so sweet. Time night, thank you for all those gifteds. Very nice of you. <laughs> Two dollars! I... Fish food. <laughs> Fish food. Th thank you for my life. <laughs> I owe you my life. I'm gonna get a drink real quick. Watch as my controller drifts up. Yep, there it goes. Have fun. Yeah, it's cleaning for you, dude. It's yeah, automatic. I've... I've missed a bunch of people giving gift subs and bits because I've been looking at this this insanity. Uh, thank you guys so much. Very nice of you. Thanks for being here in this late night stream. Yes. Yes. Speaking of, it is 4.20 right now and I should get the bed. Oh, I, blaze I it. Thank you and Piff. Thank you. I still should make sure I recover. Where yeah. can we give Piff food? <laughs> On Piff's channel, no, Piff's no. Hero. Just pass it to me, I'll pass it to Piff, trust me. <laughs> oh my god. I'll hold a couple of dollars. Oh, thank you for the $2 dollars, Flair, thank you. <laughs> I'm back. Piff is going to sleep. No. Yeah, I'm, I should probably make sure that I rest up since I still have, like, some back bits. Alright, good night, Piff. Good night, Piff. Good night. Tetra Flakes. You're giving me Tetra Flakes? He deserves Bro. better than that. Bro, at least give me the fucking, like, fr frozen blood worms, homie. <laughs> Thank you for the five dollars. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I know about fish food. What type of fish are you? I'm like a... I'm, I'm a betta fish. Uh, if you put like a my reflection fish. in front of me, I will fight it until I die. Uh... But I look majestic. Um, I just say that because I've owned a lot of bit of fish. I'm like a frog if I had to be a fish. Frogs are fish according to <laughs> Animal Crossing. That's so punk of you. What's up? <laughs> Never mind. It, no, no, it's so punk of him to say that he's a, that he's a frog. You can't take this away from me. I guess I can't. I believe Alo has a beta. Yeah. That's a mage. I had to play a, f a femboy twink today. It was great. Yeah, and you did a great job. Living your yeah, best life. Oh, God, yeah. Oh. Hey, Jello. Recently read Prison of Plastic and thought it was one of the most interesting and well-written books I've read in years. Looking forward to the next one. Thanks. That means a lot. $20 for Piff? Yeah, thanks. I should... <laughs> oh, my God. Jesus. Oh, two twenty dollars Jesus Christ. You don't actually have to give us money, fuck. But thank you. <laughs> Jello, that statement made me the most angry I've been this week. God, I wish I were you. Yeah, you guys should, uh, uh, if you want to hear Aloha be a little twink boy, you should watch our Hotiful Boyfriend Fully Voice stream. It was a good time today. Yeah. I like the Phoenica Onigiri drawing you put in my Kickstarter book. I don't remember that. Yeah, did anyone in here get a book? What did you get as your drawings? Because I spent a fucking week drawing them, and 
the whole time my parents were like, why are you doing that? Just draw the same thing over and over. I'm like, no, I'm not, I'm, I'm not a hack. <laughs> I, I love my fans. And, and then they were mailing them and they were like, wow, it's so cool you did all these. I'm like, yeah, I'm a professional. <laughs> yeah, it is cool. That's why I did it. I got just want to do a Molly. nice thing for everybody. Most of them are a dust ball, Molly. Is she like doing anything? I got a turkey dinner. That one I do remember. <laughs> oh, I got Dragon Giovanni. That one's good. Yeah, Square, you got the 5k bits badge. What emote does that get you? I don't remember. I bought my physical copy through a local bookstore, so I didn't get an autograph. Oh, that's oh, cool. that's neat. I can force you to autograph it when I kidnap you or something. Yeah, when Jello visits me, I'm going to hand him this book and I'm going to tell him to draw something really good right in front of me. And he's just going to throw it back in my face. <laughs> I drew an adult Molly yesterday. Not very well, but I, I do kind of know what I want her to look like as an adult. She got chunky and she got big, big uh, coat arms. She looked like she could punch you in a fighting game and do a lot of damage. What is this fucking music? Is she happy? Yeah. But she, yeah. Doesn't, she doesn't look like it, expression-wise. I think adult Molly has resting bitch face. Because she's learned that if she looks not approachable, then people don't approach her. Mm-hmm. I think it's the Yuzu emote. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yuzu? Ain't that the hot sauce Jello likes? I love that shit. I... Yuzu is the character that I thought Jello was talking about when I came into the Ice Hatch stream late, and he said Yuna, which makes a lot more sense. And then I went, Yuzu, got it. And I did the wrong voice for the first episode. Yeah. That's her dad gets what he deserves. Bro. I'm going to do some One Piece movie reviews with Bo and put them on Patreon tomorrow. You guys should totally watch One Piece Film Red. If you ever read Prison of Plastic and you were like, damn, I wish they talked more about how cool Molly's dad is. And also I wish Lorelai died at the end. <laughs> that movie's insane. Would Danny play adult Molly? Absolutely. fucking -lutely. I would you can't recast Danny Chambers. I would Chambers. never recast Danny Chambers as Molly. And also, as much as Danny can sound like a little baby, she is an adult woman with that voice. She's she's an actor, yeah. Molly is like her second smallest voice, but like yeah. She she can sound like a human adult. She is a human adult. That's why I think it's really stupid when people are like, oh, I got a different person to play the adult version. And I'm like, if the actor you hired is an adult, they have an adult voice. You could just have it be them. I, I also believe Danny is older than we are, which I think is very funny. Yeah. Imagine being old. Danny's got a whole ass husband. Danny has a real life. Real Fuck. adult life. Is there a ladder somewhere? I don't know. I want to see Danny cast as Pinkie Pie from My Little Pony. Bro, you know who sounds like a My Little Pony? Not a specific one, but like all of them averaged together is Bryn April. Yeah, yeah, Bryn, she sure does. Bryn sounds like she was born to be a My Little Pony. Bryn's just got the, got the sweetest fucking voice in the world. Oh no! <laughs> and she's a very sweet person, so it makes sense. Aloha sounds like My Little Pony. Listen here, you little shit. I, I, sit, I lean forward in my chair. You can't just be saying anything. Okay, you can't just attach my name and say anything you want, okay? <laughs> yeah, yes, Bryn is Fenica. Bryn is also, like, the kind of actor who will, like, give you, like, three really good reads and then be like, oh, wait, I'm, I'm sorry, can I, I'm so sorry, can I do one more? One more? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> 
And I, I would like usually let her do that. But like once in a while I was like, nope, sorry. I really liked the one you just gave me. She'd be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's an amazing clip of Bryn playing Little Nightmares 2, I think. Where the the little nightmare she's playing, she like gets through a section. She's like, oh my goodness. And she's on face cam. And she gets through it and encounters like some cute secondary creature that doesn't look like a monster and it offers the player character like a health item or like it shares its food and the player character like rips into it and just starts eating it in a cutscene and Bryn just has the most like terrified betrayed expression in pure silence for 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> mm hmm I want Danny Chambers to be cast as Mirabelle Isat so badly. Yeah. Isat where? Your mom. I... <laughs> uh, no. His power. Yeah. Like, I feel bad that like every single time I see a character of Mirabelle's archetype, I'm just like, that should be Danny, but also Danny is a delight to work with, and I want yeah. More so it should to be Danny. Danny. Oh, yeah. Like I, I only talked to them for like three seconds when I would pop into like the Bug Fable streams, and they were always so nice. And I'm like, damn, you don't even know me, and you're just so nice. Danny is a chronic sweetheart. Yeah. We we very slowly corrupt her more and more the more stream she's on. <laughs> Just like, you're doing good job, Aloha. And I'm like, huh? My heart. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> One of those people I would probably never be able to insult. Danny is also no. extremely funny the rare time that she's like angry about something because she'll like, she'll just like, she won't say what she's angry about, but she'll just like widen her eyes and give you the look and be like, I shan't say, but oh, I shall think. <laughs> <laughs> Got some sass in there. I was Vixen, I, do you voice anyone in ISAT? ISAT does not have voice acting. But also I'm Seafrin. But also I'm Seafrin, yeah. The the dev said I did a great job, so I'm taking that to my grave. I did a good job in vo I'm getting a good grade in ISAT. A thing <laughs> that is normal to want and possible to achieve. Yeah. I know I've already talked to you guys about it, but just like fucking Joshua does so fucking good in the Hot Tube Boyfriend streams. Yeah, isn't Joshua a fucking delight? Yeah. I can't wait to hear them play on Gel. Oh, yeah. That'll be next stream. Mm hmm. I love Jello's generic anime boy voice. You know what's like, I and haven't normal used voice. this in ages, but. One of my favorite voices that I stole from um, the dude who voices everybody in Homestar Runner, though he doesn't, he only uses this as like Stinko Man, but I love his bad dub voice, which he also uses in Gravity Falls a couple times, where it's like, Stop doing that! You are no good! <laughs> oh, you know, you know who we did that as was the fucking main character in Dark Deity? <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we uh, kept adding more and more spice to that voice. <laughs> yep. That's uh, what I'd call it. Kami. <laughs> what the fuck did you just say? <laughs> you know, C-O-M-E. Kami. <laughs> sure. I feel, like nobody, man. I feel like nobody knows that we did a playthrough of that game and nobody watched it. Yeah, it's, uh, well, like, it's one uh, of the more obscure ones. Like, uh, one of the episodes was lost until I did that big VOD retrieval, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and then it's like, uh, while some of the Twitch VODs that were moved over get views, like, our live ones get, like, probably the most. Probably because a lot of people already watch that stuff, but, like, you know. Yeah. Stinko man, everybody says that you're the guy, but I want to be the guy too. No way, you're just a kid. Maybe when you're older. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Oh, it's just in my brain folds, huh? The, um... Stinko Man has one of, like, the top five Homestar Runner multiple lines of all time, which is, Oh, man! Those first 500 bites of dirt were not so good. Maybe this next one will be better. <laughs> <laughs> Are you playing any bad video game? <laughs> this is the third to fourth worst contest I've ever heard this, of in my life. This has got to be the third to worst contest I've ever heard of. <laughs> I, we were watching fucking Reverend... And, uh, yesterday, <laughs> and there was, like, a really quick, subtle Homestar Runner reference, and I was like, everyone I ever see online who's a creator, who then I, I learn they watched Homestar Runner, I'm always like, of course they did, they're hilarious. Reverend is so funny. I love him. I've never watched any Homestar Runner thing ever. I wonder if you'd like it, Aloha. It's... I, I feel like I've already experienced it. I don't a, know why, though. <laughs> <laughs> I did I did literally once do a let me tell you what Homestar Runner was like stream, and it was pretty good, actually. Guess you weren't funny, Aloha? I never claimed I was. I think Aloha is funny. Aloha is funny, but... Funny looking. I feel like your vibes are slightly different than the Homestar Runner liker crowd. Yo, thank you for the twenty dollars super chat. Yo, Jello, I did watch that. You guys are awesome. Benji is best boy. That's true. hell yeah. You're so right. Oh, and Benji Buckley, the actor who played Benji, which is fucking hilarious. Number one, number two, great guy. Love using him whenever I need a, a British person because turns out Benji Buckley is British, despite Benji Dark Deity not having a hint of it. Really good American accent. A plus Benji Buckley. Molly, yeah. the uh, voice director for Dark Deity, did mention to me. He's like, yep, uh, eventually get ready because Faust does show up again in Dark Deity 2. And I was like, hell yeah, bro. <laughs> I hope he has even worse. I think I think it's going to be fully voiced this time, Ooh. too. I hope he has more weird fucking lines that he says to children <laughs> for no goddamn uh, Flair, Flair says, my dad used to play episodes of Homestar Runner for me before bedtime when I was in elementary school. Aw. Homestar Runner was like... When I went to computer camp, uh, Homestar Runner was really, really popular, so we were constantly watching the episodes together, like crowded <laughs> around a single computer. I, all these people being like, let's hope he's weaned this time. My, so every time I play a, um, a game with a lot of party members or characters, my little hobby I like to do is making lists because I'm a freak. And especially with strategy RPGs, I have these big lists of like character viability and personality. And I write notes on them. And if I ever replay the game, I update it. And... I believe, um, I believe Faust's only note is, what the hell is your problem, you weird lactation fetish isekai asshole? <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you say computer camp like it's a cover? Because the actual name was Woot Camp. <laughs> so and it was pathetic. <laughs> and it was a video game playing camp, technically, and, and also creation what? camps. We would play and make video games. That's so cool. I know. Uh, the Camp rotation is like the single most 2005 thing I've ever oh, heard yeah. in my life. Absolutely. And uh, I I was the bell of the ball at fucking Woot Camp. Everyone wanted to date me. That was my harem anime. Isn't that where you like beat up that kid or like No, that that was um that was like the special gifted kids go to college camp that I went oh, to in fucking... Poughkeepsie. Uh, um, I remembered something deep in the recesses of my memory. Did you guys have 4-H? What I is that? So. Oh god, dude. It's some... Like, I, I, I thought it was something like universal, like the D.A.R.E. program. But like, 4-H is just like... Uh, it's this... I, I don't know how to describe it. It's like a youth development program. Hmm. 
right? Uh, four H jump scare. Yeah, like uh, I, I think it might be only like southern and like around that area, but uh, it, it was like this weird thing where it's just like kind of this giant advertisement for their summer camp. Right, where it's just like you would have school events where it's just like 4 H is for like agriculture. I mean, kind of. It's like it was like for uh, kind of developing like a better community. And like if you're in these areas, agriculture is how they gauge that. Right. And so you do these events and you get these 4 H dollars. And these 4 H dollars purposes was to give you discounts to the summer camp they had every year. No, uh, I've never heard of this in my life. Not yeah, it was it was like a fucking giant ass scam. We even have 4-H in Canada. What the fuck? I went to real summer camps like Woot Camp, where the rotation of games were StarCraft Two, um, uh, um, Jedi Knight Academy, huh? Counter Strike. I think that's it. I think it was those three. And so it was like you made video games for most of the week and then uh, for most of the day. And then like at the end of the day, we would um, like land party one of the games. God, that's so cool. It was cool. We were in like a it was it was like a repurposed building of some description where there was an empty Sparrow. <laughs> Like just chilling there, and we just had a bunch oh, of like the computers. Pizza place. I thought you just pronounced the word sparrow like a lunatic. No, sparrow. Uh, and we just had a bunch <laughs> of computers around the empty sparrow. It was it was quite an odd setup. Mother, I was out playing polo on the grounds, and I spotted a sparrow. <laughs> flying, flying hither and twain. <laughs> Uh, the only summer camp esque thing was like this like weekend like summer camp event at like this church that I didn't really know anyone at uh, that like my stepmom like went to and stuff and I only like I didn't know anyone so I was like there for a day and then I like was crying because I was like kind of homesick and shit and so uh, I, I got picked up. I went to a camp for one it was like an overnight stay camp for Cub Scouts never a good thing to be and um. I'm punk though, I swear. And uh, my dad woke mm. me up in the middle of the night and he was like, I can't sleep. I want to go home. <laughs> so we left. <laughs> yeah. But like, also, that's me. Like, I understand. He, um, ugh. I inherited every negative health attribute that both of my parents have. And I was like, I was talking to Amy and I was like, hey, would you, because we were like having the conversation of like, would you ever want kids? What are you thinking about that? And I was like, I definitely don't. And, but if we ever do, I'd rather adopt because I was like, I think I'm going to get a vasectomy because I f would feel terrible passing my genes on to another generation of person. Cause it sucks, dude. Yeah, I feel you. No. I feel like that's the responsible thing for people who have like, negative life like if you're just like oh being me kind of sucko the fact that people are like oh being me kind of sucko i must have children is i feel like really selfish um if you have like you know a health experience that has affected your life negatively then clearly it would do the same to your offspring <laughs> It's okay, Jello. You bring genetic diversity to the gene pool. Bro, everybody does. Not to get Dude. eugenics -y about this. Okay, listen. Uh, no, I, th that's not what I'm implying. <laughs> but, you know, one has to, when you're thinking about having kids, you know, think about what your life was like and be like, is that, you know, fair to a child? And there, there are... Yeah. There are people who are like, oh my god, I'm so miserable. I might not be if I have kids. And it's like, you might just have like really bad chronic depression, which. Yeah. yeah. You don't want to give that. And like, you, kids. Can, you can always adopt. Like, you might not be able to like adopt like a newborn baby or whatever, but you can always adopt. There's always you just a baby. You gotta be responsible when you're thinking about having kids. There's a lot of factors to consider, and it's not all genetics, but a lot of it is your genetics. Like, just think about it bring them into a nice home situation be ready 
You know, which is why I'll never have kids. I don't have the temperament for it. And also, I don't want to give them my particular set of brain worms. It's not fair. Thank you, person of the super chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I was about to read that off. Uh, Aloha of the uh, of Jello's Homestar Runner stream. Well, like, the reason I don't want that stream is just because, like, while it hasn't like triggered any copyright as of yet, it like that could change at any moment, right? Yeah, uh, I don't think it would, but I also don't really think we're missing anything. Yeah, it's fine. Mm hmm. I'm going to adopt, but not because my body sucks. I am just a lesbian. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. That'll yeah. do it. I know adoption I is like, it's it's not the cure-all that people would like it to be. Like, there's a lot to consider also about, like, adoption mm. and adoption yeah. uh, trauma and shit like that. But, like, it's still an, a thing. And if you do it responsibly, could be good. So, you know, fucking I'm think adopted. about it. You are adopted. <laughs> You pulled a fucked up baby from the baby gotcha. <laughs> Bro, where is my five star baby? <laughs> my five star baby. <laughs> I've Man, opened so I, I don't many need loot a... boxes, but where is my baby? <laughs> I don't need a baby who's my flesh and blood. I could get an aloha from the baby gotcha. Yeah, dude. How many stars are you allowed? Probably like three, bro. <laughs> That's pretty good. I'm like four stars, but I've got like a weird experimental one-time kit that like doesn't function with half the fucking game. I'm, I'm an event character that you can't pull for anymore. You're you you're a character that's like a status symbol from people who've been playing the game for a long time from the like first or second Christmas event. Yeah. But then they bring you back like 10 years later and it ruins the game's economy. Yeah, that sounds like me. I've been describing adopt adoption as a gotcha system is insane. Yeah. What do you what would you rather us call it a fucking battle pass? <laughs> <laughs> Jello dies. Only Aloha's allowed to make these jokes. This is Aloha can do whatever he wants. <laughs> I'm bad at drinking <laughs> beverage. My adoption battle pass. It's called, it's called growing up, dude. <laughs> I wait. I every year, uh, at like the day I was born, I get the next level of my battle pass, aka birthday gift. God, please. It's Parents my reward. Getting a for me. adoption stimulus check every month, bro. The battle pass rewards are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Cratchit is live. Cratchit is Bro. live. <laughs> yeah, Christmas Carol got brought up in the Hotful Boyfriend today, and everyone looked at me pointedly. Yeah, because I mean. uh, one of the fucking birds' music, because he's a partridge, uh, he huh. just has Christmas music. Well, there's like, wow. that, but then also Nageki like talks about Christmas Carol. He's like, "Oh, I'm reading Christmas Carol right now." The sky yeah. is on fire. No, mm -hmm. it's not. The sky isn't on fire. It's the ground, you idiot. <coughs> it's over that that tower. You see You're that? wasting all of that water by not turning your shit off, dude. You, that's so irresponsible. I'm spitting really hard. <laughs> Look I'm how hard I can right pee. Now. Look how hard I can pee. <laughs> that, that comic is modern art. <laughs> Yeah. The way that that last panel has such a specific expression while having no nose, no mouth, and no eyes is really incredible. Companion piece to the, oh, I'm just a little flower. You have to water me with your pee. I just am let him not die? doing that. And just let him fucking die? <laughs> Love those four panel stick figure comic shits, bro. Great. That's a very weird emoji. <laughs> Dude, I fucking I hate YouTube's emojis. Like I Bro, I miss Twitch, bro. Twitch just it's just yeah. it's it's my home when it comes to streaming. 
I've been watching it for so fucking long. Well, they, just, like, the, their they emojis did welcome and everything us back. So they were like, do you want to start streaming there again? I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> no. No. Not until we get banned here. You know, these are better than the previous batch of emojis. I haven't seen most of these. Oh, that purple uh, they, one looks they like... They remind me of that one cartoon where it was like circle people with like arms and stuff and they were all named after like emotions and stuff and i'm not talking about inside out i'm talking about like some other shit i think it was on cartoon network i don't know chat do you know what i'm talking about boy these have no consistency why is the poop emoji red and shiny go to a doctor mr men's show uh yeah that's exactly what i'm talking about yeah what the fuck is that yeah, it's it's like it's like nothing. Don't worry about it. Okay. Yay. Yeah, like a, I'm as long as like it, it, it's like you look at it and you go, okay, yeah, I see where you're getting at, but it's like it. There's no like deeper meaning. And I never watched it. I just know what it looks like. What is that? Is that a little mute guy? What is that next to that goat in that line of four? The that's blue a, thing. Oh, the, the thing. That's a face turquoise speaker shape. Oh, face turquoise speaker shape. My favorite emotion. Yeah, it's a speaker shape with a turquoise face in it. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> that's what everyone, everyone, you should use that emoji more often. That's great. Bro, that's Boomumo. <laughs> Bro, I relate. It's just like... Twitch emotes just hit different, like lol. And then fucking... I just... I'm so sad they cowered it out of Pog, of the thing they were like, what if every oh, yeah. day it's a different Pog? It was a different Pog, Pog and it's then like... they just turned Kermodo hype into Pog? Oh, no. I hate new Pog, the snake, or whatever. It doesn't look good. It was already an emo. It was Komodo Pog. It was Komodo hype, and then they just turned it into uh, Pog. Dumb. Yeah. Milkshake duck is racist can't have your emoji anymore it's like come on man he hated being the emoji guy really you should be re-platforming him to make him angry and it's not like like people use twitch emotes but a lot of people use like the better twitch tv extension and then also like 7 tv which is another extension to get their like own emotes that are like not connected to like the twitch slots uh so it's like it's like people still use Pog with the original face in it because a lot of it's attached to a lot of like the better Twitch TV and like Seven TV emotes. But like me showing my full ass as a Degen Twitch streamer watcher, <laughs> I've I've gotten recognized in people's Twitch chats before as trying me trying to be a regular chatter, and someone's like, "Oh my God, you're Aloha from this," and I just never talk in there anymore. <laughs> like I'm like I've been recognized. I'm I've never. Been discovered. I, this is not a safe place anymore. I got recognized twice in one week in real life, and I was like, ew, I have to move to Toronto. Someone's like, you're the Fred guy. I was like, no, not like this. No. <laughs> no. I'm glad TB is still around because of Twitch emotes. You like tuberculosis? Canceled. <laughs> Uh, Total Biscuit, uh, he was a Twitch streamer and, like, YouTuber in general, uh, who died of cancer, like, god, ten oh. years ago or some shit? Oh, did he? No. Oh. Yeah. I didn't no, know No, but he is, he's the, uh, lowly mote on Twitch. Oh. Uh, yeah. That's nice. God. They also have, like, a League of Legends item named after them. They were, like, a big deal. Because it was, like... I remember Total like one Biscuit. Of the, yeah, yeah. One of the first, like, people I know that was, like, gaming, YouTube, and Twitch type shit. Probably, like, Justin TV esque streaming era kind of stuff. Yep, 2018? Yeah, it was a long time ago. I don't, uh... I don't know if this dude still exists or does anything. But the reason I have a YouTube career is because very briefly one summer youtube was like doing this thing where they were like okay 
you're able, maybe this was a glitch, maybe it was on purpose, but for a little while you were able to see other, like if you were subscribed to someone, you got notified every time they liked a video and you could see their favorites, which like now you can dig for those things, but they would like pop up on your subscription feed back when a subscription feed mattered. It was very weird. Mm -hmm. I think it was a glitch, but welcome to YouTube came out on the week that was happening and Chugga Conroy saw it. And then a bunch oh. of other people. Is he super canceled? Oh. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> like like a month ago. <laughs> oh, whatever. See? I don't or know. Or something. Yeah. But he saw it, and a bunch of other people who were subscribed to him saw it, and that's where it spread from. So that was pretty funny. It's always some inciting incident. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for it to happen for ISAT. There needs to be one guy who has like a really fucking stupid big audience who gives it at least one episode's worth of play. That's all it's going to need because once people see it, they're going to fall in love with it. I fucking swear to God. Are you thinking of playing Stray Gods? I'm thinking of apples and maybe eating one. <laughs> I We haven't really talked about a lot of games to play because we're just like Jello just got done doing like bug fables and ISAT so it was like this kind of thing of Jello's like I never want to stream again. So I was doing so them both at the same time, and I... It was too much, yeah. I was fucking busy January, too. Yeah. So, uh... Like, uh... Yeah. I don't know. Only way I can describe it, that Chaga Conroy turned out to be a sex pest and the Nikes guy, you imagined? What? I think they're talking about the Air Jordans joke or whatever the fuck. I don't know. Oh. Uh, I'm thinking about apples and maybe eating one. Same energy. I'm and as I'm normal about vegetables. Hey man, I think everyone's normal about vegetables for the most part. Right. Jello need a nap? Nah. Yeah, like, YouTubers are the best way for a game to spread, but I, I don't know. ISAT's got such a specific energy that I feel like a lot of the big guys are not going to be interested in, even though it deserves, like, so much mainstream success. I really wish Matt Pat wasn't retiring right now, because I feel like he's someone who would actually enjoy it for what it is. Mm -hmm. I don't think he would... That doesn't really seem like his kind of game, though. Yeah, but it's got shit to theorize about that's, like, actually well put together and interesting. Yeah, but he Hello. means stuff that is bad put together and not interesting to make videos. Hello, I guess that's true. Hello, neighbor out here. Like, I wonder what Matt oh, Pat Matt thinks Pat. about this. <laughs> Wasn't game theory continuing? I mean, it's continuing, but it's just like. It's know. just a different guy. And even, even then, I still see Matt Pat on thumbnails and it's stuff. Pat, like, Matt. Pat it's Pat Matt. It's because it's because guy. Matt Pat's doing like his last 10 theories right now. Uh, yeah. I was really sad that Tom Scott stopped doing his stuff. Those videos oh, yeah. were really good. Yeah, Rhett and Link, I think, retired no, as well. No, they didn't. That video was a gam. It was about them starting, like, a different shit on their main channel. Yeah, yeah. they still do stuff. Yeah, I watched that video, too, and they were just like, ha, we just did it as clickbait, ha. You know, I was like, wow, fuck you. All right, gang. All right, gang. When am I retiring? Uh, now. <laughs> Good night. Jello, I don't think Jello could ever retire. He would go too crazy, I think, without like certain things to work on. He would have to get like a hobby, like making boats or something. Yeah, yeah. I'm like Miyazaki if he was like a punk. <laughs> yeah, that's how I'd describe you. I'm making my friends angry tonight. That's the thing I'm doing. <laughs> I'm not angry, I'm happy. You're failing. Can't do anything right. Can't have anything <laughs> Why is everything speak? hard? <laughs> that fucking Sasuke Bro, gift. I hate something. how often I get chances to use that gif. It that sucks. GIF? Every other week, I'm D every week I'm DMing Aloha like someone fucked up. Why is nothing easy? Mm -hmm. 
We're getting there. This ship's looking beautiful. Yeah. No, I want to. I am. I am pretty much moving out of doing voice acting stuff, though. You're going to Toronto. Yeah, I mean. Leaving me here. Destitute. That's crazy. Sorry. <laughs> I'm never going to Canada. Fuck that place. Heard they Whoa. heard Jello's going there. <laughs> stinky. Uh oh, stinky. I said I feel like isn't ever gonna blow up. It's just gonna slowly but surely find its audience because it's such a specific style. I guess, but that makes me sad because it deserves so much. Like, why do so many bad games become so popular when the good games suffer? Chat. Why do just... guys only want bitchy bimbos who walk all over? I, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's what I was just... Like, I said I feel like should occupy the same kind of space as like an Undertale, but Undertale just had the wind in its sails from the beginning, I guess. Yeah. Fox? Canada's really gross right now. I don't know if you've been to America lately. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's it's always gross, gamers. Why is Jello moving to Toronto? Because my girlfriend lives there, and I want to get married to her eventually. Ew. But... Hate love. Same. Uh, actually, the real reason is that Jello is a, a Canadian government plant, uh, but he got outed as being a Canadian government plant, so he has to go back for safety. I fucking wish uh, that would mean I had legal rights the citizenship. To stay there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Undertale had that homestuck clout when it launched. Yeah, that's the thing is that ISAT is like building from the ground up, which is significantly harder to do, but it deserves it so it makes me irrationally angry that it's not more popular it's fine it'll get there Constantly recommending I said to everyone I know. Yeah. Me too, but it, it you know it takes a minute. People got other shit going on. People got other shit they're playing, and I'm like, listen, I swear to God, it's so, the best game ever. So many games have come out was like the last like two months and shit. Like there's like a Splatoon DLC, I guess. That was what? something that my friends were like, oh yeah, we'll get to ice that after this. And I'm like, okay, you tell me when you play it. I want to hear Platoon your reaction. DLC. What are they going to do? Shoot paint everywhere? Nice. <laughs> it's good. You, yep. Platoon always be like... Platoon is so cool looking and like the story and shit looks so great. Uh, I complained about this earlier in chat when you guys were talking about Splatoon. Uh, but a game, the game's like design as in like how it plays and like the multiplayer has not changed from the first game. So you get people who've played nothing but Splatoon for the past 10 years it's been out and just decimate constantly instead of like a new game coming out with new mechanics thus resetting people's like knowledge and everything for an equal playing field almost. Mm. I just I couldn't keep up like I, I played Splatoon 1 the summer it came out and I was like man this is the I'm having a great time and I, I'm not usually a multiplayer online boy I, I yeah. don't um, and then Splatoon 2 and 3 came out what felt like so quickly to me that I was like, I can't keep up. I can't keep playing this online multiplayer game. Goodbye. God, I hate barnacles. They're so disgusting. Hey, the barnacles on screen won't see your tweet, but your friend who's <laughs> secretly a bunch of barnacles in a <laughs> 
That's me. That's me in the corner. That's me, me in the salt line clinging to a dinghy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's really cool. You should uh, make a video about those. About barnacles? Barnacle? Yeah, barnacle. <laughs> Bro, I got uh, a I got a rebrand for a bit to manage PR. Barnacle apocalypse. And then immediately the barnacle lover community <laughs> <laughs> is gonna be like, this guy fell off, unlike a barnacle. <laughs> <laughs> you know, barnacle staying strong. It's the stupidest shit I've ever heard in my life. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> The only multiplayer online game Vixen has time for is Horses Falling Over Simulator. You're so right, Flair. Jello Marine Biologist Arc. I wanted to be a marine biologist when I was a kid, mostly because I'd been manipulated by the Disney Channel, apparently. I feel like a lot of kids wanted to be marine biologists. It's like a popular little kid job. It's because Finding Nemo. Hmm. Did they refine that little bitch? Damn, that's crazy. And then they made another movie where they looked for somebody else, you understand? What, was it called Finding Nemo? No. Finding oh. Dory sucked. Finding Dory, yeah. I mean, Nell and DeGeneres, you know. You know. You know. Yeah, we watched that new Defunct Land video about... Yeah, I was just about to say that. <laughs> about, um... American Idol, and I did not know that Ellen DeGeneres was an American Idol host for a year. Specifically a ju judge. Jello not the quick. Ryan Seacrest type, but someone who had to judge the singers. Jello, quick, change the song. Why? The song Just... will get copyright, apparently, someone says. Okay, whatever. It, How what are you YouTube? I don't believe you, but like also for Aloha's sake. You don't have to, man. It's cool. I'm pissing and shitting. I don't <laughs> care. Did you remember to have fun? We did have fun watching that defunct land. <laughs> Kevin Berger is so fucking funny for no reason. I love him. Would I've you kiss never... him? I would, yeah. What? Wow. I don't. Maybe I'm pulling this out of my ass, but like for some reason, I'm under the impression he's gay, so he might be on board with it. I thought you were just gonna be like, I might be pulling this out of my ass, but I feel like Kevin Perjure is hot, based on no information. I mean, I, he's definitely attractive considering how fucking funny he is. That's true. It's Being funny is a is a big plus. Is Dory Ellen DeGeneres? Yeah. Yeah. I'm so sorry to have to break that to you. Yeah, I feel I feel bad that like apparently his symphonic, like his artsy um, Epcot video that came out a couple months ago. Like, I followed him on, t him on Twitter and he was like, "Yep, everyone I I've shown this to has gone, dude, you must be crazy," and not in that like way that they're like awesome man they're like legitimately concerned for me <laughs> <laughs> i watched about 10 minutes of that and i was like this is really cool that he did this i am super not in the mood to watch this right now though and i never went back to it and i feel bad about it which one was that um he did a video like four or five months ago it's like a documentary concert thing it's it's strange, but like in a neat way. Mm. I'll stretch. Oh, I'm my stretching. Arms my arms ah! hurt. More, my soul hurts. More food, Aloha, in case of demonetization. Ow. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh. oh. My soul hurts. Yeah, no, I I had that going on in the fucking car ride when I was picking Lenti up the other day. I fucking hate cars. I hate moving vehicles. I hate everything. I was in a. That was like, ugh. I was I was real down. But then we got burger. That was, was good. Was burger good? 
burger was good. It was the same burger place we went to when we finished ISAT and we like had our little like community theater p post game <laughs> hangout. It was nice. Yeah. And I got milk and shake. Didn't want to become a geologist until like my mid to late teens and I spent most of my childhood either wanting to be an author, a lawyer, or a particle physicist. Wow. I wanted to be a teacher. I wanted to be a brain scientist or a vet, um, but it turns out I faint at the sight of innards and blood, so I uh, couldn't do either of those things. Yeah, I cannot imagine you doing either. Nope. I'm too weak of constitution. The idea of seeing- the idea of helping animals? Great. The idea of seeing an animal in pain? Can't do it. Yeah, you need to be able to be the person who puts down animals if you're a vet, so there's no yeah. way you would be able to do that. We right kind of fucked up. Do you <laughs> love rocks? Yeah, it's my only personality trait. That's true. <laughs> the <laughs> what? what the fuck? True. We're good. My favorite interaction I've ever had with Flair was when Vixen was reading my chat once. And Flair started to correct somebody because they had used magma and lava backwards. And you just read it out, and I went, I bet that's Flair, isn't it? And you're like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I could I could see myself pivoting to a different career in my forties. That seems like something I would do. Because when I was, man, when I was a kid, I could not fucking decide. It was like, brain scientist, vet, writer, um, and uh, seamstress, and I, I couldn't fucking get my head on straight. It was like, uh, it was like, at the end of high school, it was like, I didn't know what the fuck to do, because... Because everyone gets pressured to go like, what do you want to do in college? Go to college, do the things. And I was like, bro, if I go to college, I'm going to be in debt. And I don't know if I could handle that shit. Uh, and so I, and plus I never got to go because my guidance counselors didn't really help me at all because they're racist and awful. Um, mm. And so I was just like, I always wanted to do something regarding like online content creation. So... I've known what I wanted to do since I was six. What's that? Be a punk. Wow, you're really setting that up, huh? <laughs> the, um... I wanted to do comics when I was baby, so I drew a bunch of comics. Yeah. And they sucked. And, um... Then... Did that ever change? Not really. Uh, and then I... <laughs> In, like, high school, I was like, I will go and be an illustrator. And then YouTube happened at me, and I was like, well, I guess I could do this. And it made yeah. some money. You go update when? Leave me alone. You know what? In 30 fucking years, when Epithet is beyond done and dusted, I might revisit Cornucopia in some way. Hmm. There's some shit, I, like, because that's my oldest working story that's, like, you know, not yeah. dog shit. Um, I started I started working on that when I was in 7th or 8th grade. Oh. Damn, a little creative boy. And I still like a lot of the character arcs in that, and... I really like the the villains and the B protagonist. I like everybody. In that. You know, like the secondary protagonist, because there's more like the Zuko essentially, the secondary. Are guy. those the gay ones? Uh, they're the villains technically. Uh, okay. But yes, those are those are the first lesbians I wrote, and th they still live in my heart deeply. Nothing has fucking changed. You show me... You show me a noble or high-class person in love with their right-hand bodyguard. 
I don't give that's a fuck. That's so... Yeah. What else is going? It's like, it's popular for a reason. It's fucking good. Yeah. I love it. The protagonist of Cornucopia is an extremely jello-coated guy. No, the fucking yellow-haired girl is, like, one of the most me characters I've ever written. She's such a goblin. I think I was showing, I was showing Lenti stuff because I was going through that comic and I was like, I bet you'd like this boy. And then instead of finding good examples of the boy, I sent like 600 pictures of the blonde girl and I was like, look how funny she is. <laughs> you sure it. did. And I was like, Jello, the boy, where the fuck is the boy? I didn't. And you were like, no, I, look at my girl. I drew him ugly. And then like at the end of the night, I was like, Oh yeah, by the way, I did draw him in a maid outfit once. And you were like, fucking start with that next time. <laughs> yeah, I was like, where was this the entire fucking time? It was like 4 a.m. And you were like, here's the maid outfit picture. I was it like, It was at Thanks. the end of the folder. I forgot about it. <laughs> I called that file thick up as a joke. And Oz got fucking mad at me because he's a twig. <laughs> <laughs> he is a twig. What are you talking about? He is a twig. Hey, Stupid. But the joke funny though. I thought it was funny. <laughs> funny looking. <laughs> Jello Don't would find the Maya Fave tolerable if she had blonde, fluffy hair. Not fucking true at all. Mm. No. No. Mm. Remember when we were watching Reverend and you were like, I like Altaria, and I was like, yeah? It's a good Pokemon, sir. <laughs> it's it's a good Pokemon, <laughs> sir. Shut up. It is a good Pokemon. I would like Kay. I think it's more likely I would like Kay if she were blonde, but I think what would actually happen is she'd show up, I would get excited, and then after two cases, I would probably hate her even more because I was jebated because she was blonde. And I'd be like, no, mm -hmm. she sucks. How can this happen to me? My uh, client will no longer be taking any questions regarding the blonde allegations. Uh... <laughs> like, like Gina Lestrade? Yeah. Her design is fucking dynamite. And she was the first character I saw from that game. And it's not just because she's blonde. She has a cool theme and she's got like cute green outfit with like little buttons on it. Got a good design. And then she was like abrasive and annoying and then bad at her job later. And I was like, oh, I don't like you at all. Man, I'm looking at you just cutting through this and I'm like I wish that was me sorry I'm in baby jail though damn get good I can't I'm I'm definitely real weak embarrassingly so if someone is blonde but like it's if that were enough I'd be so much happier and yet here I am a miserable squidward all the time <laughs> I get you man I wish my types were slightly less specific. Uh, it would make my life easier, too. But, uh, nope. I need a sad, wet cat of a man in a very specific way. Seafren. Fucking wild. Seafren. I, uh, specifically, Loop. I'm in love with Loop. Uh, it's a little bit concerning. Jello's favorite pony was definitely Fluttershy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because she's Damn, the best you one, all right? You don't mm -hmm. have to read out these call-outs to you and then respond. No, in ways they're that... right, though. They get points. Best I, pony it's... is rarity. Sorry. No one's ever been wrong. Everyone's always like, you liked Fluttershy, didn't you, Squidward? And I have to be like, yeah, <laughs> I did. <laughs> Obviously. Nothing wrong with liking Fluttershy, though. Liking Fluttershy is very valid. But yeah, Rarity, best pony. Rarity's good. 
I also like Derby. Who's Derby? Derby. Oh, Derpy? Derpy. Oh. Just, Derpy yeah, doesn't so... have a character. She's you... blonde. <laughs> <laughs> it's a blonde horse, sir. <laughs> the fucking horse. At least you didn't like Twilight Skull. Damn. I'll be honest, Twilight, I don't really Twilight like anybody. Like out here I don't really like anybody in anything voiced by um Tara Strong because when I was in college, I binged a lot of shows from the era where Cartoon Network put Tara Strong and Tom Kenny as every extra in every show, and it made me so mad that like their voices became toxic to me for a little while. And Tom mm -hmm. Kenny eventually recovered because he has like six different voices, but Tara Strong only has two. I like Raven Teen Titans. That's one. That's one of the two. I like that one. Vixen needs their little guy to go through this much trauma, like needing to be a certain height to be allowed on a ride. Yeah. <laughs> That's fucking true. That's true. I need a, a, again, a sad, wet cat of a man. I need someone rich. I like Trophy rich husband, blondes. Aloha. We know, Jello. I'm helping. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck did you just say? I'm helping. I said I like rich blondes. Wow. Vixen's type is that crying hamster on TikTok right now. Yeah. Oh my god. I feel so... This is also why I'm the older brother, because I, like, never know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> I'm yeah, so out of the loop. On TikTok. Did I ever, like, Tara? Ugh, no. Uh, bro, like... Why would you there like Terra when options, Raven bro. and Starfire both exist? Starfire is yeah. right there. Yeah. Starfire is a goober. And also Wait, she's like voiced by Hinden Walsh. Oh, what, Flair, do you like Terra? Because she controls fucking rocks, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Terra's, I hate her. I hate her terribly. Flair also oh, agreed you... with me that Rarity Best Pony, the, you know, gems one. I, we got you, Flair. Tara, Tara, I don't like characters the narrative wants me to like because they're tragic when all they do is make every mistake. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of how I felt like as a, with a kid, as a kid, right? I'm like, Beast Boy, you deserve better, man. Like, okay, yeah. so when I yeah. watched it as a kid, I was like, wow. Beast Boy has a crush on her. I'm rooting for you because I was I'm very easy that way. And then I rewatched it in college, and I was like, I hate this blonde asshole. Leave Beast Boy alone. I was of the opinion, even as a child, that Tara was a home wrecker because I was a Raven Beast Boy shipper. I was like, get out of here. That's crazy. I was also on board for Raven Beast Boy. I just want everyone to kiss all the time. I have no standards. I had no standards. Now I have too many standards, and I hate everything. I just wanted Beast Boy to be happy. I had such a crush on him. What is this what cows do when you're not looking ass music? I think this is Rossetti. <laughs> wait, wait. Oh my god, I just, uh, yeah, I just listened in. That's hilarious. <laughs> I'll scoot back over here. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Beast Boy was like my oldest crush I can recall that was not anime. I, like, it's the thing of just like, I don't know, Beast Boy was just the boy, you know? He was funny. He was cool. Like, I, I, always, I always liked characters like him, you know? Yeah. Teen Titans original was pretty solid. Holds up. I don't remember anything. Holds up okay. 
it was there and it was gone, you know? Like... Yeah. Like the, everything. The best episode is the one where Starfire is like, it's friendship day. It made you all friendship beads. And everyone's like pissed at each other. And she's like, this is sad. And then she gets thrown into the fucking future where all her friends are like destitute and homeless. And that episode is like, it's a lot. It's a lot out of nowhere. Teen, Teen Titans would do that. And then they'd be like, next episode you get baked into a pie <laughs> like <he> was... <laughs> that era of like superhero stuff was like interesting because there was like justice league unlimited that they around like that was pretty had the good. same kind of vibe to it yeah yeah it's funny because like i i don't ever go out of my way to consume superhero stuff but like it's one of those things that i'm like occasionally I'll be like wow this is really good but like it's like pre just... pre like marvel exploding yeah. stuff was just so like had a vibe to it and then when marvel dominated that market everyone was just trying to make that same thing and it's just like bro you had something special and then they tried to like re kind of like oh what is that fucking show it's uh it's not teen titans but it's like the kid justice league guys uh young justice young justice kind of like had that like like teen titans or like uh justice league unlimited vibes but then it just like got canceled or shit like you know it's like sad teen keen tried really hard to get me into young justice i actually um i don't know if any other artists get this but uh when i used to draw the so this is basically as myself i would be watching shit in the background and I still remember with like perfect clarity on certain shots exactly what I was watching. And the two I never forget are uh, the shot of Torbjorn falling down on, uh, what the fuck, what's the fucking level name? The UK level at, in Overwatch. Yeah, yeah, at the yeah, end yeah of that the video. London, yeah. Um, that I was watching Young Justice with Keen and not having a great time. And that, all I really remember is that like they tried to give, I think it was Robin, they, were, they really tried to give him this running joke where he would like comment on words that had like no non-prefix version, like over and underwhelmed. He just like, I'm, I'm whelmed. And I'm like, all right. But it was like, it was constant. And I was like, okay, you're really trying to make this happen. And it's like embarrassing to me. <laughs> um, and then, in the Cowboy Bebop video, there is a shot I remember drawing during the fucking Genesect movie. At the part where Genesect gets dragged into space. <laughs> and I remember it every time. That was definitely a rated joke. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Vixen, do you prefer sorrowful cry sad boys rather than vengeance driven brood men? Yeah, I don't like vengeance driven brood men. But also, like, the sorrowful sad cry boy has to be. He can't just be sad in such a outward way because it can get annoying. I need, I need, like, again, Loop and Seafren are great because it's like quiet suffering i suffer in silence i have trauma and i don't show it to anybody that that kind of shit that's Do the good men shit like that exist in the real world yes i feel like most men don't wear their trauma on their sleeve damn that's crazy couldn't be me it's 2024 grow up <laughs> what type of women do you like uh pretty Marissa likes the girl at the post office, and that's about it. I do. It. Oh, she's so beautiful. I. It's an issue. Last time I saw her, I was like, hey, I just want to say every time I come in here, you look stunning. And she was like, oh, thank you. And I was, I, I left and sat in my car and was like, why did I fucking do that? <laughs> that that's nice. W -Riz. That's a nice thing to hear. I always. Yeah. It was just, it, it. It went in such a way that I was like, I, uh, Knowing you, know? you, I'm sure it was fine. You're freaking out about nothing. Yeah, maybe. Those rocks at you. Feel better, feel better. <laughs> I try really hard to, like, 
compliment people randomly in public if someone's got like a cool hairstyle or like a weird shirt I like. Yeah, I'm the same way. I'm like, you know what? I would be flattered if I got a random compliment. Like, and a lot of people probably don't get compliments all that often because it's just not something that you do. So I was like, eh, if I if I see someone who looks good, you know, I'm just be like, hey, you look great. Like, by the way. Um, and usually people react quite well. But yeah, when it comes to when it comes to women, I don't have a type. It's just I have to see the woman. And if she is just the most beautiful thing I've ever seen, I'll be like that one. I have no qualifiers for why just the whole package. Beautiful woman. Have I watched Rise of the TMNT? No, I'm not a TMNT guy. This guy hates turtles. The yeah. woman has to be a human. Well, that's the thing is, like, I don't like a lot of female characters. Like, I couldn't point at a female character and be like, that's my type of woman. They don't exist. They have to be real people. And then I'll be like, look at how beautiful she is. Um, I don't have, like, an archetype that I can glom onto like with male characters and um where i just go like here's this sad wet cat man this is in theory the ki kind of guy i'd like in real life but i don't know any um whereas with women i'll be like here's a real life woman she's stunning and that's the lady at the post office she's fucking beautiful what if i, I have something going she's... for you if you work at a post office <laughs> What if I told you she's watching this stream right no. now? No! Come on out! <laughs> God, that would, like, ruin your week, I bet. <laughs> it would. <laughs> it fucking would. If, if the lady at the post office ever found out that I have spoken about her in any capacity, I'd, um, kill myself. The girl reading this. But she's, she's gorgeous. I mean, good for her, you know? So Vixen is the Sanji then? Be nice to my best friend. What the fuck, man? Wow. Getting real big boss baby vibes from this one. <laughs> I just, I, I can categorize men into types that I like and I can't do it for women. I just, that's all it is. Women's beauty is undescribable. Yeah. Man, I, Think about that Sanji thing. I was thinking about how like fans interpret the Straw Hats in more interesting ways than they really exist, and sometimes in like ways that just don't jive at all with the original shit. And that made me remember that I've been seeing a bunch of dungeon meshy Kabru X Lyos posts. I'm like, you guys are nuts. You guys are all the way crazy. <laughs> Fucking bonkers. No, nah, it works. No, it doesn't. Like, it's fine. They can believe that, Jello. It's okay. It's okay, man. They won't hurt you. Your friend, who's actually Kabu X Laos, will be hurt by this. It's that hate love. No, it's not. People don't know what the fuck they're doing. This would never pass the council's test. <laughs> the council. I'm gonna start saying that. I'm gonna start implying. <laughs> implying that there's a council for everything. Yeah. This would never pass. Yo, I'm gonna have to get back with the team on this. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get back with the council on this. Uh... I love the team jokes because both of us make them and the other one never enjoys it. They're always like actually a little bit upset at being reminded of the team. <laughs> <laughs> Because it, I don't know, the team up upsets us like on a weekly basis. So <laughs> yeah, this is like... this is our trauma response. Guys <laughs> are trauma bonded. We say it to make sure that the other one's still in pain. Because like even when we make the joke, we're hurting ourselves too. <laughs> the team, oh, just like any working with any company, and like you have a problem and you need someone else to fix it, and they go, "Don't worry, I'm going to talk to the team about it." And they're and it's definitely like, bro, not talking to the team. If the team has to, the team to restore, it. if you got to talk to the team about everything, what are you here for? Yeah, it, like going, I'm going to have to talk to the team is just code word, like corporate shit for I'm doing jack shit about your problem. 
because if they can actually do something about your problem, it'll be done instantly, actually. Like, that's the reality of it. Uh, yeah. And it's, it's just, like, annoying. a lot of things, is like, if a contract is, like, nearly done, people will do jack shit until you renew that contract, and then suddenly the team has, like, 20 things done for you, and you're like, yeah, well... Yeah, the, the instant that, like... They might lose yeah. money. They're like, oh no, suddenly the team's all available. Like, if we if we renewed our MCN contract, we probably... They, they would have fixed all of our shit instantly, probably. Uh, no, but... I think the instant we renewed our shit, they would go, we got them for another year and disappeared. <laughs> true, yeah, also true, yeah. yeah. No fucking way. Don't sign with Studio 71. Here's 71 reasons why. <laughs> I cry, I cry, I cry, I cry. That's all the reasons. You don't want to make me sad. But, um, yeah, no, I don't... I don't like hate shipping in general because, like, I don't think people get it. I think they just see characters that hate each other in all spectrums and all directions, and they're like, you know, well, what? in badly written movies, the characters that bicker always fall in love. And it's like, yeah, because they're badly written and they're stupid. Like... There's an actual kind of, like, bicker to romance you can do, but, like, then other times it'll be, like, characters where one has, like, murdered the other's, like, entire family or whatever, and it's like, I don't know about that, but, like, it's treated the exact same, and then Homestuck sometimes... Homestuck was kind of cooking. What? Homestuck was kind of cooking. <laughs> We'd like, say that... Having a whole category for it. Yeah. I, like, it would take a while for me to explain it to you, but they basically had different... Trolls and Homestuck had different kinds of relationships, right? Not just, like, oh, romantic. They would have classifications for, like, hate romance and, like, other kinds of stuff like that, uh, which kind of, like, broke it down in a way that I was like, wow, this is actually somewhat, like, interesting from a just, like, eye-opening perspective of, like... You know, you would say that, Dave Strider. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, I knew the fucking jokes were coming, little shits. So you guys are so funny and original. Okay? I didn't do anything. I wasn't talking to you, sir. You said <laughs> you guys. There's only I, two of like us. Like a chat, a chat. Oh. There are fucking three hundred plus people watching. All right. <laughs> what? Yeah, um, there's three hundred people watching our stream, and probably people watching. Stream? Oh what? shit! Oh shit! Yeah. So, um. Fuck. Flair's being like, oh, whatever you want, like, no matter what you want, Fallen and the girls are making out. I, that's fine. There's so much evidence that those two would be a fine couple. I have no qualms about that at all. I also saw a bunch of, like, Chilchuck Accenshi shit, which, like, he spends half the thing thinking Chilchuck's a fucking child. I, I love all of the comics people make of Chilchuck and his daughters. Yes. And just all that stuff is just so great, where they're just like, yeah, I can't remember if it's a canon one or not, but there's one where it's just like, yeah, it's just like, yeah, we're gonna go visit my friends, you know, all this other stuff, and it's just like, one of them's a dwarf, and he goes, wait, no. No, 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 no. And his daughters are just like, oh, man, I always wanted to marry a dwarf. Yeah, Senshi, you're not allowed to come. Yeah. The, yeah. Um, Chilchuk... Gamers, I'm so sorry. I'm turning off Stretch. Um, My my sutures hurt. That's fair. That's fair. The most interesting thing about female Kabru x Laos to me is that Kabru does just so seduce Laos to manipulate him. No, that wouldn't work at all. Kabru couldn't get in a fucking word in Edgewise. He didn't know how to work Laos, and Laos doesn't want and a I, human woman. I I don't think I don't think Laos can understand things like that. He's too busy thinking about monsters and food, which is relatable, dude. He's trying to get his money up, not his funny up, if you know what I mean, man. <laughs> <laughs> fucking saying to me. <laughs> <laughs> He's on that Sigma grind set. You wouldn't understand, man. I. That's true. I don't get it. <laughs> that's my favorite thing to say is I'm trying. It's just so powerful, dude. Uh, we probably disconnected for a second. Don't worry oh. about it. You back? Yeah, yeah. I, I think I am. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear yeah. you. Okay. Hey, I bought the final oh it's like a laser 
Check out the Ooh. ultimate beast. Holy shit. Check out the creation. Check out how hard I can pee. <laughs> Check out how hard me and my two friends can pee. <laughs> right next to each other. You can do the bottom of the ship because I can't make any fucking progress okay, down there with my little baby gun. Bottom, bro. I'll do my best. Um, the range on this thing isn't great, to be honest. I guess it's fine. Lyos is just a furry. Look, he got that hot ass Chimera Marseille thing going on. And then was like, I hope nobody notices that. Because <laughs> then they might. That would be awkward. It'd be awkward. And also, I wish that thing had been all monster and no percent Marseille. <laughs> I don't know anything about Dungeon Meshi, but good for live action Nami for booking that character. Yeah, that's a yeah. fun cast. Way to go. I when the One Piece cast got announced, I checked their Twitter and it was just shit posts everywhere. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, I feel like this is like fitting. She I still haven't watched vibes. the live action One Piece. It was it good. Sadly, it sadly came out when we were doing the One Piece book club, and I'm kind of burnt the fuck out on One Piece. So mm. yeah, I watched it and just w with Lenti actually, it was pretty good. Yeah, it was. It was, uh, it was weirdly refreshing because like mm -hmm. it was so un Oda. Yeah, um, and with I who? liked that. Watched it with you. What was my name? Vixen. Vixen? Thank you. I'm uh, adopting I'm adopting it harder and harder. It's almost time for my one year anniversary and I'm I'm full in, baby. Full in. Ain't that the bitch Locked who dies the at the start in. of Dungeon Meshi? I wouldn't know. My joke was Shut funny, don't worry. It wasn't. <laughs> what the fuck? What the I'm fuck outing you hell? right here, right now on YouTube.com. Dunkachino. No, this guy knows it. This guy knows what he's talking about. I'm sorry. Yeah, there's a dead I meme. Was unfunny, and then you point out Dunkachino. Yeah, it's kind of funny. It's hilarious. Vixen's chuckling. See? Yeah, there, <laughs> there we go. Can't hide that. You smile. got me. You got me. Yeah, You're so just... charming, Aloha. Fuck off. Have you been keeping up with weekly One Piece chapters? Nope. Uh, because I, well, I'm still enjoying it. Here, I've got, I've still got notes. Uh, the art is so fucking messy that I have a hard time reading it visually. So, I don't really have fun doing it. So, how tired is everyone? I'm not really that tired. I'm just vibing. I'm a bit tired. I'm tired of you. I just haven't done anything. What Being unhappy because I want your happiness as a friend. Oh. Damn, that's right. You're the one insulting me. I'm not insulting you. I'm motivating you. <laughs> Let's motivate him with a little prod. Now I'm motivated. Jello, play any good games off stream? I don't play games. Jello does not play video games. I play, um, Warzone. Which is like risk, but for one player. Oh, I thought you're. I thought that you were talking about Call of Duty Warzone. I was like, what the fuck? No. Yeah, that would be that would be an insane lore drop. If yeah. Yellow just turned around and was like, I play Call of Duty on my off time. I'd be like, who are no, you? No, I play I've... one player Risk. <laughs> <laughs> that I've makes been, sense. I've been playing Hell Divers, uh, Pacific Drive. Uh, I recently caught up on all the content of the Pokemon fan game I really like. Uh... Is that Snakewood? Your favorite? No. <laughs> Pokemon... Shut up. <laughs> it's a funny joke, though. You should be... I, I, I didn't know you were cool like that. <laughs> Man, what the hell? <laughs> I 
Jello, you know the name of this channel, right? I mean, this is the only time Jello plays games is on stream. <laughs> on stream. That's why the channel exists. That's why it's here. Every time Jello plays a game, you know. You know about it. You guys are yeah. lucky that I didn't decide to stream Warzone. It would be the worst stream I've ever done. I feel like people would enjoy it still. That doesn't mean it wouldn't be the worst stream I've ever done. That's I true. think the worst stream on this channel. I I can't say Garden of Ban Ban. That I mean, that, that stream was awesome. We did that, a great job. That did produce the Yodel TM. <laughs> it was so funny. That, that stream is not worth it. Others have benefited. I that stream makes me feel like a whore because I just had to go <laughs> on stream and play a fucking horror game and dance for the entertainment of others. And they go dance, little, little boy dance. And I go, I yodel. And everyone's like, ha ha, isn't that funny? Aloha gets scared from the loud noise of light turning on. And I'm like, I'm, uh... <laughs> you know, you're right to freak out at that because I like watched a little bit of that stream when it was live. And I was like, why the fuck is that so loud? Jesus it's so Christ. loud. It jump scare you, obviously. 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 Yeah, I saw people asking, like, Aloha, when are you going to play Poppy Playtime? Never. I don't want to play horror games. Yeah, sorry. That's... I do... I love the Iron Lung stream, and... I Someone should direct compare at the start of the Fire Emblem Archers only run what I actually sound like when I'm scared playing video games to the big scary ending of Iron Lung, where the monster comes out and I go, ah! <laughs> like... Like, exactly like that, with no energy. <laughs> and then in the fucking uh, archer thing, I'm just like, okay, I think I should be okay as long as there's no reinforce. And then some guys show up exactly as I summon them by accident. I go, reinforce. Oh, hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime gal. And that's the type of shit I do when I'm actually freaked out. <laughs> when I'm scared, I say. <laughs> yeah. I don't like loud noises, I don't like bright lights, and I don't like feeling alone. And those are three things horror games do constantly. Uh, I don't like being bored, which is a thing horror games do constantly. Wow. Wow, the edge. It's not we all know the real scary video, video game, Killer Frequency. There was a person oh. who commented on the Killer Frequency thing where it's just like, yeah, I think this is my least favorite stream you guys do. I've watched it like four times and it takes me like multiple sittings to get through it. And I'm like, why are you why watching? Why are you doing that? Dumbass. Why are you doing that to If yourself? you don't like it, there, we have other streams that are probably better. Probably. Right, well, when's the Puyo Puyo Tetris stream? Dude, that fucking suck ass. I suck at <laughs> Puyo Puyo Tetris. You know who's really bad at Puyo Puyo Tetris is fucking Aram. Which Me. I know because there's mandatory Poyo games you have to play and, in the Crossbell games, yeah. and he just beefed it every time. They also exist in Cold uh, Steel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, you guys should play Wingsman. You should play this. You should play that. Why don't you play uh, your own games? Why are you here? What's a stream? What's a stream? What's the point of streaming? Why are Who we doing this? Who am I? Who am I? I'm washing a boat. I'm, I'm happy for you, man. Why don't you play these nuts? I wish I said that. I <laughs> wanted to be kind, though. What the f- I should play Roblox on stream. Is that where- are you gonna fire me? <laughs> There's for playing no, Roblox? I don't know anyone who does anything well except the two of you. And like, <laughs> if if I fired you, I'd ex like, what would be the point? <laughs> what would be left? I just want to share the joy of birds with you. Don't you want the joy of birds? I I know some birds. Damn. Talk to boyfriend. Like Big Bird? You know? I... Do you know Big Bird? Yeah. Damn, that's crazy. I bet. I 
I could name like five birds. I can name a hundred birds. Do it. Nobody wants your birds, Brennan. Please. Please! <laughs> Good fucking clip. Null has defense. Wingspan is very heavily RNG based. Fuck that, dude. That sounds like I don't shit. Want, I don't want your fucking shitty RNG bird game, okay? Give me give me a more solid game. If it's RNG, I already lost, bro. Oh, you know what you're probably supposed to... No, that doesn't make any sense. I'm like, how am I supposed to get at some of these? And I guess it's using the extension... It's a deck building game? That's even worse. I suck at building decks. I'm not how a carpenter. building docks? Like this... Yo! Yo! Our game. Right. Stream noun. A small narrow river. Ha <laughs> ha! That's actually a good one. Oh, yeah, that, that sounded like a fake laugh. That was a genuine laugh. I just want to clarify. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. I'm pretty beepy, chat. Could be some anti-beep questions. Wake me up. Anti-beep questions? Before you go. Before you, you sleepy? Why he eepy? Because I'm four and a half hours time shifted, so it's like 5 a.m. for me. That's true. Holy shit. They're a decent Roblox game too. About a good percentage of them aren't original. Yeah, like are, are you a car? No. That's not a good question. Banned. <laughs> not actually banned. Just letting you know. What is the moon? Bad question. Banned. Uh let's see. I'm trying Jello, I'm trying. I'm trying so hard. Take the moon and you take the take moon. Take the moon and you take the moon. How do you do American taxes, bro? I don't know, man. I that's, right. a, that's a whole kettle of fish, gamers. It's not that kettle of fish. It's something. I write down all the sources of income, how much income, where he income said come from. Mm -hmm. And then I write down all my business expenses. And then I hand them to a man who puts them in a paper and pays the government too much money. And the man. Peach. Peaches come in a can. They're put there by a man in a factory downtown. Peaches by the presidents. Skitska looks happy. <laughs> Wake the fuck up! <laughs> Favorite most implausible conspiracy theory? It used to be contrails before I answered that question, and then the lady I answered it to got non-ironically into contrails. Damn. If you don't know what that is, I'm not explaining it. You opened her third eye, huh? No. I think her first eye was still glued shut. <laughs> We're not answering that question. I want my monetization, please. Please. Uh, Jello, what is favorite kink? Boy in scarf or apron? Exclamation point mention? Yeah, that's where Skeetska looks happy comes from, as well as the man. Great videos, great vegetables. I really like specifically those videos he does, though I find his actual analyses kind of I don't have a better word than centrist <laughs> mm. like we watched one I watched one with Amy it was new and it was like are thousand year old lollies bad and like yes and it was like some people think yes and some people think no and here's the reasons they do that and one of the reasons is very stupid and the other is normal but who can say what is right? I'm like, it's some weak sauce, my dude. Jello, will you ever play Disco Elysium? Stop asking me if I'm gonna play shit. <laughs> <laughs> he won't. He doesn't. He doesn't like. Do video it, you games. coward! You won't. You won't. Get bent. What's my favorite D-list hero or villain? 
Squirrel Girl's pretty punk. <laughs> I love Dixon. this bit. Do you want to do more big long read throughs like Hatsuful Boyfriend? I've been enjoying it and you were awesome on ISAT. I want to do Digimon Survive at some point. Because that's the only mm -hmm. way I'm going to get through that game is if we make it a read through. Yeah. But there's a lot, there are a lot of characters in that, man. It feels like a lot to keep straight. Yeah. It, it's, it would be hard to like. Because, like, I feel like certain people would, like, sit there for, like, a million years. Sessions. Yeah. yeah. It would have to be a relatively small cast of people doing a bajillion voices, which is a lot to ask of someone. Yeah. Have you watched the Joseph Anderson analysis videos? No, but Yam yeah. says they're good. I didn't know that he did them until she mentioned that. I just thought he was a stream funny man. But... Why would Jello watch them if he could just talk to me? <laughs> Why are you punk? Because systems deserve to be questioned. Also, like, nothing is well done. So when people get oppressed by shit, you should burn it the fuck down. I'm gonna find this last speck of dirt if my fucking life depends on it, I swear to god. Okay. I wanted to like Digimon Survive, but I don't like playing VNs. I do enjoy watching them sometimes. Yeah, Digimon Survive is a VN, and then the Digimon like gameplay sucks ass. It is, I hate it. Yeah, uh, the problem is I wanted it to be more gameplay, and as I was playing it for the first time, I was skipping so much dialogue because I was like, when the fuck are they going to shut up and let me play Digimon? And then I realized, um, oops, I bought a visual novel, not realizing that's what it was. And you can put it on the hardest difficulty, click auto auto battle, and then it will just like, the AI will just beat the battle for you and you don't even have to play. And it's like, well. Well, Favorite. regardless of that, I was like, I need to start over actually appreciating the story because apparently that's the whole game. Favorite mm -hmm. date location, diner that you go to and then spend way too long having a conversation that starts normal and then changes your life. Oh, Fav that's nice. Favorite Digimon, Lilymon. <laughs> what? That's great. I, I don't know. I just love that question and then instantly answer your favorite Digimon, Lilymon. Am I Lilymon. excited about anything in Canada besides your girlfriend? I'm excited to not live in America. Um, I'm excited to have a house again. Finally. Finally. I'm excited to not have to pay eight bajillion dollars for an apartment with a broken floor. <laughs> hey, your You're fake right. cat's here. That's not my cat, that's that's Vixen's. That's my cat. Yeah. That's my very real cat. You haven't been able to hear my my cat ever since I got a new microphone. Okay. Is that why you so, got the microphone? <laughs> so we wouldn't hear the cat. I you, I hate you. <laughs> if a criminal with a gun loudly, angrily asked my favorite Digimon, what would I pick to stay safe? Why would my answer change what was going to happen? Do you think he's number one Lilymon hater? <laughs> yeah. What what kind of fucking weirdo is he? What will I what miss will you when miss? I move? Marissa, nothing. Sorry, Vixen and nothing else. Oh. Agumon gets you killed. Who the fuck's favorite Digimon is Agumon? Get a personality. <laughs> that thing looks like fucked up SpongeBob. <laughs> Agumon? Agumon? They're both yellow. No, they aren't. <laughs> what? Is Agumon not yellow? He's orange. I'm sorry, man. The, the Wicked are... Witch of the East, bro! <laughs> Technically, I mean, season five, Agumon is pretty pretty yellow. Favorite uh, anti-jello... I, I love that video. Favorite anti-jello girl girl? What do you mean? Like a girl like... who's not your usual type? Dude, I love that fucking Wicked Witch of the East video so much. You I feel like that encapsulates my yeah, like the fucking write your will, put me in it, you're done, kid. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> that kind of shit. Least favorite chat member, 
bad news, mister. <laughs> oh, you... Favorite lore channel on YouTube? None. I hate them all. It's not your sort of thing. Favorite smell? Favorite smell? Hyacinth. Or a recently drunk uh, can of Diet Snapple. Stick your nose in it. it smells so fucking good. Uh, can can you do a backflip? Uh, Jello can only do one backflip, and uh, that uses all of his life force. <laughs> As I land on my neck and snap it, no fucking way can I do a backflip. If you took off Gabumon's fur, would it affect what they digivolve into? They can't digivolve without it. So yes. Oh, uh, that's lore. That's lore, baby. Do people ask what sport you play? I don't think anyone looks at Jello and goes, this guy must play sports. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I actually, when I was younger, everybody assumed I played football. Yeah, I, like, I don't play you're, football. You're the kind of you're the kind of kid that like coaches would go like, you should, you should join the football team. And I would big. go like, why I have aspirations? Damn. Why I don't want to peek here. <laughs> I was on the varsity fencing team. My God, God I, varsity I wish. fencing team. <laughs> I wish I. It was such fun. After we would visit our cafeteria for our caviar lunch. <laughs> okay. Me and my girlfriend were both on, on the varsity fencing team. It was a lot of fun. Hey, yo. My one and only girlfriend. Thoughts on Umi Neko? It's apparently really good, but it's like long as fuck. I really like it so far. I haven't read it since like last year. I need to continue. It's just like. I go through spurts of reading a shit ton, then reading like nothing, so. Favorite mollusk? I don't know. Bro, we don't know mollusks. Ain't that that bitch from Epithet Erased? Yeah, right. <laughs> Vixen ass sport, what do you mean? Fencing? Is that Fencing. like. Fencing. I don't. Is that like would... Christmas themed or some shit? No. Sword fighting with tiny little needle dick swords. Yeah, it's sword fighting. <laughs> I, I I never did sports in a high school or anything. I wish I did. It was mandatory at my school, so I I did soccer, basketball, lacrosse, um, tennis, yeah. fucking fencing. But fencing was the only one where I was like, I pick this one. I like this one. Yeah, fencing was the correct choice. Like I, I can't because of my my eyes and shit. So what lacrosse is... isn't a sport. Talk to my school. I don't know yes. what to tell you. Yes, it is. What do you mean? Lacrosse is yeah. Lacrosse is a, what the fuck? Lacrosse has full body about? contact and shit. Like what not is... if you're a girl. Oh uh, is... yeah, I guess. Uh, my favorite sauce. Um, is Miss that Ren... Yuzu hot sauce? Miss Renfro's blackberry salsa. I need to get some of that Yuzu hot sauce. Uh, it's pretty good, but Trader Joe's loves to be like really inconsistent and be like, we don't have that now for eight months. And it's like, why? I was buying it. And they're like, yeah, it was too popular. Those are cabin windows. What are bri oh, bridge bridge windows? Okay. Jella's fursona <laughs> is a sheep. My fursona is a goat that's like tall and lanky and hates everything so um like... actually soccer is a sport and lacrosse is a low gear <laughs> do i keep up with genshin absolutely not what a waste of time i think the last time jello played genshin was on his like last genshin stream favorite type of cloud uh roll cloud damn this guy knows clouds I do, actually, uh, a little bit. Um, my only extracurricular things that I did in school was uh, French club, and then I was in the biodiesel club. Because a girl I liked was joined the biodiesel club, so I joined. Fair. I was in the GSA, and I thought I, I thought I was the straight part of that alliance for the longest time. <laughs> Fave. The Gay Straight Alliance. That's what they used to call LGBT clubs. Wow. Uh, okay. Favorite. Our school mascot was a lion, so they just called it Pride. 
Oh, that's smart. Favorite bread. Croissant. Freak behavior. Did I like any of the One Piece movies? Yeah, one of them is actually good, and then there's one that's, like, fun. Favorite candy. Mm. Are chocolate bars candy? Yeah. Fuck it. Why not? Um, Three Musketeers truffle bar. Dude, fucking... Don't make them anymore. Since I've been, like, working out and stuff, I have these, like, uh, protein bars that Brennan recommended to me. Oh my god, there's one that's just like you too? <laughs> what? We have a, a... What? Just the, just the protein. <laughs> Constant. <laughs> Go on. It's, it's good for you. Yeah, like, it, you need it to, like, prepare your muscles and be, be swole as fuck. But one of these bars is a fucking vanilla churro bar, and it's the best thing fucking ever. It's like crack cocaine. I love it. It's probably like my favorite candy bar, but it's a protein bar. <laughs> it's like really good for you. It's packed with so many just like vitamins and minerals and shit and then protein. What would I say are my highest value organs? Probably my None. kidneys. I don't have probably a none. Probably none of them work. Probably uh, no one would take Jello's kidneys or anything, bro. My, my skin is bad. I have a fatty liver. Um, none of my, my none of my intestines are doing so great. Stomach's bad. Brain. Brain bad. I mean, what do you what do you do with a my, my brain's okay. What do you do with a brain though? Eat. Eat? People Eat. don't love me for my brain. Do I... Do I drink? No. No. How do you deal with fatty liver? I don't, I don't deal with it. I just have it. <laughs> you just hope it doesn't kill you. Mm, you know. Yeah. What organ would I replace first, given the chance? My skin. Absolutely. Yeah. My eyes. How long do I think I'll live? 42. Damn, you're 41. We're lying. <laughs> Me when I tell lies on stream? Never. Bones aren't organs. Damn, All right. got you What there. are fair leads, dude? Um, what? When everyone gets to audition before you pick? <laughs> Shut up. Uh, deck walls and fair leads. You know if you go into the menu and click it, it glows endlessly, right? What? Yep. I don't usually do it because uh, it's extremely hard to click shit in the menus for me because of my fucking controller drift. But, yeah. Oh. Whoa. How about that shit? Learn something new Whoa. about Power Wash every day. You you have an energy about you when you play video games, Vixen. W what kind of energy? You know. Uh, that's why they're asking, Jello. Are you saying Vixen's bad at video games? I am bad at video games. Yeah, I am saying that, yeah. They don't wow, love me such back. you're an asshole. How would you do that? That's so rude. The things I've watched happen in Vixen's hands. I, I do my best. Recommend I... a book? <laughs> Dilla doesn't read. I do, actually. Um, yeah. Prison of Plastic would be my recommendation. Yo, Prison of Plastic? Episode of Race Prison of Plastic? You can the, buy it now? The first Baccano book, Spiral Melodies, is pretty good. Um, I, I need to read the Baccano books. I don't know if you need to. What are fair leads? I told I, you. What? I told you. What What are they? When everyone, when everyone gets, gets to, to audition. Have... No, shut the fuck up. What are they on this boat? <laughs> It's the last thing we need, you piece of shit, and then we can go to sleep. I don't want you guys to find it. I want to hang out forever. See, you can't. You have to let go. 
The accident was years ago. Jello Jello never came back from that vacation. <laughs> I'd kill myself. <laughs> I, I know. Got a little guy on the edge of my eyeball. That's not good. They've been dead for 40 years. That would mean I'd be alive for 40 years, man. I can't handle that. Yeah, you look for the fair lead. I'm going to look at whatever's on my eyeball. Okay, great. Riveting stream. You can't look at what's on your eyeball, bro. You'd be surprised. I'm a slug. Hey, chat. Can you <laughs> Google what a fair lead is on a boat? Uh, yeah, let me grab it for you. Thank you. Bro, um, I want an egg custard bun so bad. Uh, it says it. when you let everyone audition before they... What? <laughs> I'm going to <laughs> fucking stab you. Uh, it's a device to guide a line, rope, or cable around an object. And so it's like probably like on the like edges of the boat. It's like metal bits. I, oh, that, oh, it metal barely bit. helps. A oh, fairly trader. divider. Fairly divider. Wait. Yeah. So then what's the... Is this the fair lead? No, this is not part of the game. If this is the fair lead divider, then what is you, the fair lead? If you click it in the menu, it'll glow constantly. So like, well, that's the thing I did, and it it I don't see anything. Damn. Kind Mo of wild. Mooring hole. Fair lead divider. Mooring hole, eh? Oh, these are the fair leads. These are the fair leads. These. Those bitches. Those bitches. Hold on. Oh, you're pretty funny, funny looking. Nice one. I love that. That, that joke instinctually comes out of my mouth. Which one is it? It's one of these little, these little socket looking things on the side of the boat and I can't figure out which one it is. I got it, probably. I thought I checked all of them. Maybe there's one like at the bottom. There should be eight of them. One, two, three, four, Five. Oh yeah, there must be another set somewhere. Maybe like on the upper deck. Like, here's the thing, chat. I I have it selected. It should be glowing if it's. But but they're so small. I'll look on the bottom of the boat. Oh 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 oh. There's one. Is there one over here? I'm looking yeah, but on the, it's the not the one that it is. You seeing anything, Jello? There's a boat here. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, fuck, dude. Fuck, dude. She fares on my leads till I... They got him. So funny. The you sniper send fucking the assassins killed after him. you. I got him. Gun whale? Ain't that a season of Sword Art Online? Uh, Good one. More questions. How many More can we questions. fit in before Vixen solves the riddle of the Sphinx? I'm I'm losing my fucking mind. Where the hell is this thing? There's two favorite. more somewhere. Per person who's asking favorite condiment drink, you already know the answer. It's mustard. It is uh, mustard. Favorite pizza game character? Lamp. Is that oh, plastic on my prison till I ep my epithet gets erased? I Damn. see you, you piece of shit. Why do you I stream so late? Uh, why do you watch so late? Any of y'all get seasick? Yes. Dude, yeah. It's I... this. It's this. I need to get it from the top. I don't know. I can't. Okay. Oh, I... I'll... I used to only get seasick. Um... But now my eyes have gotten to a point, I think, that I just get motion sick now. Why does it still say 99%? Uh, it's just glitched. Oh god, I was gonna- oh my god. If it didn't say it was done, I was gonna be upset. 
Oh, yay. It just started playing very victorious music on the ISAT soundtrack. I feel good. I feel accomplished. Yay. Yay. All right. That's it, gamers. That's it, gamers. I gotta tuck this old man into bed. Don't talk about <laughs> Vixen that way. What the fuck? <laughs> It's so mean to me. I'm literally defending you. <laughs> <laughs> Fucked up. Uh, I gotta find someone to raid. Thanks for coming, you guys. Who should we raid, chat? <laughs> Are you Dude. If only. I went to see if anyone was playing in Stars in Time at this ungodly hour. They sure aren't. One of these days. Everyone I know is offline. So you want to guide the raid, chat? Anybody now, come to mind? Now would be a good time to insert ads. Are you sure? They always say, no matter what, when you go to the control thing, it it says that now would be a good time to insert ads. Literally, it's just like oh, any time. We streamed for five time. hours? Jesus. Yeah, we sure did. Okay, goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye.